All right, game blowing up. Let's go it. I don't know what I just said right there. Okay, anyway, um, I see Unrivaled here. We got Moxie. What's up, guys? Also, Sh I don't even know if Shido's still here, but Shido, if you're still here, uh, shout out to Shido for the uh, gifted membership. Not gifted, me for signing up for the membership. Uh, appreciate you, Shido. Rejoining, actually. Rejoining the memberships. That's awesome. Uh, just gonna be lurking legendly. Cool. Well, thanks for the lurks. I appreciate it just in advance, but uh, have a good uh, Good lurk sesh if we don't get a chance to talk to you today legendly. Have a great evening Hopefully um, Your night's going great or whatever time of day it is for you. I know I always just assume it's night, but you know, we're all different time zones <sighs> Allison with the liked Allison with that liked. Thank you. Um, let's see. Hi there. How do I say your name? Is it uh, Ovadoom? Ovadoom? Is it Ovadoom? Hopefully I'm saying that right. What's going on? The shiny wheezing trainer from Pallet Town. 1250 soft resets. Still under odds though. <laughs> that's, that's still good though. You still have a chance of getting it under odds. And thanks for the like as well. That didn't take you long for... Uh, that didn't take long... Um, it, hold on, that didn't take long to encounter you live. Oh, did you just uh, did you just find me or something? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, luckily, uh, luckily I stream almost every single day if I can do it. You know, life can get in the way sometimes, but I try to jump on at least once a day, except Wednesdays. Got to have a little break, a little recharge. Moxie says I went to uh, Walmart and got a Visa card and then oh and then Nintendo card. I wasn't prepared to talk tonight. I guess <laughs> it's awesome, Moxie. Um, is there like any games you're going to pick up for uh, on on the Nintendo card or got any plans for it? That's cool. Made my return. Don't think I've been in a stream for a while. Welcome back, McKermit. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. And Unrivaled, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm, my my lungs are still a little little iffy, but definitely better than yesterday. It scared me this morning. I woke up, I didn't feel get good again. Um, but today I I um I feel like you know pretty good. I don't want to say hundred percent, but I feel pretty good. I'm just really sleepy. <laughs> like I'm I feel like I I need like a good sleep. That's what I need. That's what I need. I uh, remember you responded to a command I sent to one of your past videos about the Berserker hunt. Okay. Sorry, I respond to actually an like, insane amount of comments. <laughs> Believe it or not, a little channel with like 6,000 subscribers, I respond to a bunch of comments. <laughs> so sometimes so they, you know, all run together <laughs> at some point. Some point or another. Uh, Raven, what's up, Raven? Also, Tyler Shanks flexing the seven months. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. But yeah, the Weezmer Berserker hunt. Oh yeah, you're hunting the Weezmer. That's right. Okay, I remember it. <laughs> I remember it. Alright, okay. It's so weird. I know it's it's like when in the comment section it shows your all's like at. You know like how the Twitter symbols and stuff has like the at and it's like so it's different than what I see in your all's username in the chat. Now I remember it. Yes. I remember you. <laughs> now I remember you. Alright. Um, Dorian flexing the 17 months as well. We got Tyler and Dorian fle both flexing. We got seven and 17 months. Thank you guys both. That's incredible. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being around. Um, I know you guys have been lo around longer than that too. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thanks for the member hypes there guys. Um, uh, yeah. Nice to see you live now. Yeah, for sure. Nice to see you over here. Um, uh, PLA hunting. Yeah, going for some, uh, I, I, like, I'm, right now I'm doing, like, an alternate hunt. Like, I'm doing this, like, every other day along with, uh, a shiny wishy-washy hunt in Sword and Shield. I've always wanted to get shiny wishy-washy, and I kind of like the idea of doing, like, a fishing challenge for it, because it's not, it's not super easy. So I figured, like, hey, why not do that every once in a while? I get a little, get a little risky with the hunts. Um... Yeah, yeah. How, how about you, uh, Obadoom? How about you? What are you? Uh, what are you up to? Um, did, are you still hunting? Are you still hunting Weezmer? Or are you doing a different hunt? 
We don't have a reversal FIBA situation. Well, that's why I'm not doing it every single day for sure. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of like a fun thing. And I'm, I might squeeze some other things here and there while doing the hunt as well. Um, let's see. Dorian, 96%. Nice. Today I went back to SOS hunt. Oh, and Ultra Soon, Ultra Moon, because I wanted and, uh, wanted and needed a shiny furfro. Nice. I like that shiny. The white to the black. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool shiny. Yeah, it's on Switch games. Yeah, that's a good, it's a good idea. There's a couple hunts I want to do in Ultra Sun, Ultra, Ultra Moon myself. Um, but it'd be full odds-ish. You know, SOS has pretty good odds, though. Um, because I don't have the shiny charm in those games. Um, hey, you got Hassan here. What's up, Hassan? Hello, hello. Um, Tyler's day was good. Let's go. Awesome. Unrivaled 48%. And we, well, that's actually, uh, Hassan with the 48%. Um, Ruby, I'm back. I'm finally feeling all right. I had to have a bad sore throat over the uh, and fever over the past couple days. Well, I'm glad you're back, Ruby, and I'm glad hopefully you're feeling better. I've I've actually been sick for a full week too. It was not fun. So hey, I'm glad we're both feeling better. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, found the shiny fast within one. Oh, really? One hour? Okay. All right. Well, congrats on the Weesmer. Let, let's go. <laughs> T Sizzle, got any plans uh, for the weekend? We are gonna rock out and get Allison's watch battery changed. It's gonna be an epic adventure tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but no, no big plan, big plans. Just you know, I'll stream and then me and A will hang out. You know, it's kind of what we do on the weekends. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. What about you, T Sizzle? What about you? My friend Fiona has a benefit. Yeah, I saw that. Someone, you say someone gend it in for you. They ginned it because they you wanted to save your sanity. <laughs> One forty four percent from Unrivaled. Um, since you Discord DM, there you go. Also, it's Community Day. That's right. I guess maybe I'll tap on a couple. Um, I'm not super stoked about it, but I'll you know I, I I tend to always do a couple checks for the funsies. Um, what's up, Sage? Hello, Sage. How is it going? And still nothing there. As much as I, I like the quickness of the um, of the soft resets, I gotta say I I kind of like flying to the location. I don't know why. Like soft resets, they're all right. Nothing much. Uh, just plan to hang out with my buddies on Sunday. Hey, there you go. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Always meet up with your friends. Always meet up with the friends. It's always good. At the moment, doing uh, Tapu Coco and Dynamax Adventures. Nice. Yeah, you got to get those Tapus. Because, you know, Sword and Shield was the first time we ever got a chance. Because, unfortunately, in the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon games, they still locked them on us. 193. Dang. That's even, that's way less than the other day. You said you're like, what, 198 the other day? That's pretty good. Pretty dang good. I think I've actually lost some weight during this past week because I I didn't eat like my normal crazy self. <laughs> so I think I might have actually lost a little bit of weight. Um, but I'm not sure about that, but it feels like it. Like I feel emptier. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I feel weird. <laughs> then my clothes feel a little lighter, on, like feel a little looser on me. I uh, hope we get extra, extra small, extra, extra L bell sprout and bring it over to Scarlet. Hey, yeah, there you go. That's a strategy, Dorian. I like that. Not Jen, but I, I used, I think it's called arbitrary code execution, which looks far and too complicated for me to fully explain what it is, even after watching a tutorial. <laughs> uh, I get that. If something looks a little too difficult, I'm usually like, ah, I'm out. I'm out. 18%. That's not, I mean, it's better than zero. I lost my sword and shield and my shining... Really? You're shining pearl cartridges? Do you think they're still in the house? Or do you take them out of the house? I guess Tapus are a one in a lifetime to get a shiny. Yeah, at the moment. Unless in future games, you know, they give us a chance to shiny hunt legendaries. But they proved in Scarlet and Violet that they're not willing to make every single game have shiny legendaries in them. Which kind of blows. It kind of deflated me when... Um, the the DLC came out and we couldn't shiny hunt the legendaries. <laughs> yeah, one on eight. <coughs> it is a whole lot better, Dorian. Sorry, guys. Pokemon Emerald, you're doing the Trico soft reset. Oh, nice. There's some Pokemon Emerald stuff. That's awesome. And thank you, Dorian. Thank you, Unrivaled Phantom. 
I got a little, I started feeling a little tickle in my nose, and I was like, uh oh, I gotta, <laughs> gotta do some sneezing. So, which are your favorite games? Yeah, from a shiny hunting standpoint, I do love those games. I wasn't too big on the story. The story was kind of eh. Um, I liked some of the characters though. Um, but the shiny hunting aspect of Sword and Shield, oh yeah, for sure. For sure. I think they're Dorian and Tyler and Unrivaled and Tyler. Thanks, guys. You know, I said Tyler twice, but you did do it twice. <laughs> I shocked the entire Discord when I said I was actually enjoying my only, oh uh, yeah, shiny only Violet playthrough. <laughs> I saw that, but I was like, maybe, maybe he's hallucinating. I don't know. <laughs> I generally can't remember, but at least I still have my Legends Arceus, even though the data got deleted. I transferred all my Pokemon, so I'm just starting again. Ugh. I will say I enjoyed Legends Arceus, but man, that, like Legends Arceus was actually like kind of difficult. I like I got a good time with it, but it was a difficult game, especially when you're you're streaming and you're trying to squeeze in, you know, the story and enjoy it and try to beat it because you don't want to get spoiled by the YouTube community. And oh, it was tough. I was basically playing Legends Arceus every waking moment of the day when I could. <laughs> I was streaming it, and then I was off stream. I was playing through the story because people didn't want to watch me play the story. Uh, they didn't want to get spoiled. Now I was trying to avoid spoilers. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of difficult. Uh, they made shiny hunting almost too easy in Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, it's just because you can see them in the wild. It's actually, The odds aren't any different. I mean, outbreaks. Outbreaks can have pretty good odds. But you know, standard shiny odds are still the same. It's just, you can see the shinies in the overworld now. So it feels easier. But if we can see the shinies in Sword and Shield, like there's a mod that lets you do it. Um, you can actually find shinies quite often. Um, but the fact that you can't see them in a non-modded copy, um, you know, the hunts seem more difficult. Fun fact, the word to say bless you in Spanish is salud. I've heard that before. I think it's because I took two years of Spanish. <laughs> Still can't believe we got shiny uh, huntable Arceus before an event, a shiny Victini. Yeah, Victini Meloetta. I would love to be able to hunt those guys, like especially Victini. I know Victini's shiny is not that crazy, but um, I actually like Victini. I would love to shiny hunt it. Joel, what's up? Megatron, how are you? Johnny, what's going on, Johnny? Hey, guys. What's up? What's up? Hey, the Electrode battle so much. I hated the uh, Avalug battle. The Avalug battle made me want to like throw my controller. <laughs> I could not like I was like searching for patterns, but I could not get the pattern down. I kept getting drilled by icicles. Drove me crazy. Ugh. Um, the thing about Scarlet and Violet, as poor as I think the games are, the story and content aspect is fun and interesting. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Like I keep saying it. I wish they would have been like hey nintendo this game is not done can we just delay it a couple months we need to stitch it up like it just needs to be it just literally needs to be like buttoned up <laughs> like that yeah you can tell they ran out of time like they were trying to make the game as good as possible and just didn't have enough time to finish it like like sew it up at the ends and it was as a complete package trying to get shiny shark it for your third member nice um, let's see, I just bought a brand new mower for the first time in my life. I've always bought used, oof, nice and fresh. <laughs> nice and fresh mower. <laughs> I have like battle glitch so bad for me, I got my friend to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not like that one. I, I got so mad. I was so grateful for the option of where you could select um continue from your where you died i was like if that didn't exist and we had to start from the beginning i don't think i would have ever finished legend arceus oh it would have been bad um e what's up e hello 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 hope that's your internet and not mine um i don't see anything on my end i'm not seeing any lag as of this moment not saying it didn't lag but i don't see anything not seeing anything if the option didn't uh, exist we would never have complete uh, I would have never completed that game <laughs> right um, and even the Arceus fight was was pretty difficult I, I actually did better in the Arceus fight than the Avalug fight 
But because uh, I could, fi I finally, you know, figured out the patterns. Like when it was about to attack, I would dodge, jump. Um, but yeah, it, there was a couple battles in that game that were intense. I was like, if I was like a little kid, like you know, my my d degree of g d difficulty when I was younger was like the Game Boy games, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Like you know, you had to solve little puzzles. I didn't have to like actively dodge full on attacks. <laughs> Um, so I don't know if I would have completed po a Pokemon game when I was younger. If, like, say, Legends Arceus was my first experience. You almost rage quit on it. <laughs> I had to take breaks. There was definitely some points, like in those battles, where I was like, "Okay, I have to chill out here." <laughs> um, I see how many love and moon balls you want me to trade you. Um, let's see, it's all sorted. Oh, there you go. I'll sort it up, but Dorian's being a total, total G for, uh, for offering to help, which is always dope. Dorian's always helping people. I love it. Getting lost for months in Mount Moon. <laughs> I was a little bit of a cheapskate, but not, not, it's not, that's not the right word. I, I loved strategy guides. I would sit there and just read them. And so whenever a new Pokemon game would come out, I'd buy the strategy guide and I'd legit like take it to school and I'd read it. Because we couldn't bring our Game Boys to school. Like, eventually they gave up and lit us. But there for a little while, they didn't let us. So I'd bring my strategy guide, and during my downtime, I'd like, I was, like, reading all the tips. <laughs> I'd just sit there and read strategy guides. So, I did have guides when I played my game, so... I didn't fully play them blind, growing up. It was dirty butt poor, no guides, no internet. But hey, at least you got the games, man. That's the good thing. I feel like I would have figured it out eventually. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, I did. We didn't have. Um, I never thought we had the internet. I we had we had dial-up internet, but I never thought to look up guides on the internet. <laughs> but that did I have? I don't think I had home internet back in like when you know yellow was released and silver and gold were released i don't think i had the internet yet because my dad like he didn't want to like get all that stuff yet my dad was very timid to jump on things i remember when we got there's broadband internet he didn't get it right out of the gate and all my friends were getting broadband and um i was sitting there running on dial up and it was like it blew my mind when i go to their houses and they would like get on the internet and it would just go like load up immediately i was like what that's amazing <laughs> gonna play Scarlet tomorrow night. That way I have four twenty twenty four date in my game. Hey, there you go. It'd be kind of funny if Pokemon like the Poke Center acknowledged it. Like happy four twenty. <laughs> Ease day was good. Woohoo! Keep racking up the goods. I will say though, I'm not doing full odds eggs. I have a Masuda Ditto, so it's base Masuda. Yeah, nice. There you go. That's always good. You gotta have that foreign Ditto. I would wash cars and rake leaves in the neighborhood and bought and bought red for nine ninety nine and a game uh I think oh wait a Game Boy color for for twenty bucks, really? Was game was it was it used? I'm assuming they had to be used. What did, what happened? Oh. <laughs> oh, Half day at work. Yeah, good stuff. Hope we get, I get a shine tomorrow in Scarlet. Hey, keep your eyes peeled, Dorian. In that game, like you know, you the shinies pop up in the overworld. Just keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, it was used. Hey, that's a good deal, though, man. That's a heck of a good deal. Like now, if you think about it, go try to buy go try to buy a used Game Boy now. <laughs> Got to pay that retro price out there. I still I I still hate not buying some retro stuff that I wanted to get pre twenty twenty because. Prices were so cheap on retro things. Like, so, so cheap. And now it's like, if I want anything Pokemon related that was made in the 90s or early 2000s, I'm, yeah, it's, it's not going to be cheap. Um, even though they were millions of produced. But, you know, I, I'm a little picky now. And I'm like, oh, I kind of want the box with it. <laughs> but if I want the box, it's going to run up some crazy money. You'd ride your bike up there. Was it? Was it like a? Was it like a used game shop? 
I like the uprise. I don't know if you guys have them. Like you got all you guys in general, but the rise of like retro gaming stores. Sure, they can be a little overpriced, but um, it's always dope to go see games you grew up with and kind of daydream if I can ever afford them one day. <laughs> Uh, you say it's funny they acknowledge 420 Pokemon Go is having Bell Sprout. Yeah, literal weed on community day tomorrow on 420. And it's Dex number 69. They know exactly what they're doing. That's right, Frozen Crisis. I love that. <laughs> I love that. The only thing I don't love is the avatars in Pokemon Go right now. <laughs> I can look past it though, despite all how wonky they look. I kind of just play Pokemon Go to shiny check, but still. But yeah, I think that's hilarious. 420 and we get Pokemon number 69. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, before GameStop bought them? Oh man. I remember we had EB Games here as well. And basically I thought it was, it's funny cause like I, I even, like I think EB Games and GameStop merged. And, um, but I remember I would like try to pre-order at EB Games sometime cause it was more convenient. It was at the mall. And sometimes they wouldn't have pre-orders and they'd be like, I'm gonna, we're gonna call GameStop and see if they have pre-orders. Like they already were working together, even when I was younger. Uh, T-Sizzle, yeah, Bell Sprouts tomorrow. Bell Sprouts. Bell Sprout. Uh, got lucky friends. Oh, nice, McKermit. That's awesome. Me and Allison got lucky friends one time. Um, but she threw Pokemon Go in the trash. <laughs> we, we, we lucky traded and all that good stuff, but, um, yeah, can't do it anymore. Although we are still best friends. <laughs> uh, that's what it was. Oh yeah. That's what it was. EB games. Yeah. I always, I always thought they were like the same business. Like they had the same color scheme and everything, the black and red. Your son and I have, uh, got lucky friends twice. That's awesome. Me and Cap Nation are lucky friends. Granted, we can't trade with each other. <laughs> we're not we're not close to each other. Two to five. Yeah, T Sizzle, two to five. Your local time. That is correct. That is correct. Uh we'll be mirror trading Poiple. I need to shiny hunt po my second Poiple at some point. Like I have Allison beats Ultra Sun. <laughs> um let's see okay i think i'm caught up there um heck yeah heck yeah unfortunately not shiny hey mr wolf what's up mr wolf mr wolf in the house Day month here makes a lot more sense. 420 sounds like the fourth day of the 20th month. Yeah, it kind of depends where you are, because to me, like, 420 is April 20th to me. But, you know, if I grew up where they didn't do that, then that would make no sense to me. <laughs> uh, Davis, what's up, Davis? What's going on? Dorian's day was not too bad. Right on. It's good stuff. I'm not even gonna lie. I told this to Allison before I went live. Like I love doing this, but I am so excited for midnight so I can go to sleep. Like I cannot wait to just like shut my eyes on a permanent basis and not have to set any alarm. Like I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Whatever I've had this week has just ravaged me and worn me out. But I'm just I'm honestly grateful that I'm not sick sick anymore like thank goodness <laughs> definitely don't take feeling good for granted uh spartacus hello spartacus what's going on spartacus beginning some encounters and all my big hunts thanks to eoc he's working on my uh, Piplup and BDSP and Torchic and Alpha Sapphire mainly. Nice. Well, good luck. Hopefully they're going to show up here for you soon, Davis. Good luck. Thinking about doing any special trades. Do them tomorrow since you will have two special trades. Oh, 50% off Stardust. Nice. Got that discount. That BOGO offer. Buy one, get one. Wait. Trade one, get one. That's Togo. Togo. Togo on Pogo. 
Uh, I have a sudden urge to hunt phalanx. It's a good shiny. Very good shiny. Kind of didn't like that it had, like, in shield, I don't recall it having, like, any good encounter rates. I had to, I had to, oh, yeah, there was, like, the little area where they were marching in and out of the little caves or whatever. But I ended up doing the, uh, doing the Masuda method for that guy. But great shiny. You like that Togo and Pogo? <laughs> Togo on the Pogo. <laughs> has to has to make sense. It just gotta make sense. McCormick's got that noted. Uh, my life's been crazy. Got crazy sick because of allergies somehow. Then got a full odd shiny pl and platinum on accident. Two shinies and X. And like 20 other lucky things minus the sickness davis it sounds like you've got you know some pretty good pretty good runs it's like you traded like being ill for some really good luck it's like i forgot what that's called there's almost like a term for it when you like you know you get what you want but you in turn get something bad i forgot what it's called Who's your main in Smash Bros? I haven't played Smash Bros in so long, but always Link. I'm a huge Legend, Legend of Zelda fan, so I usually pick one of the Links, like Normal Link, Toon Link, uh, Dark Link, um, Young Link, you know, <laughs> whatever whatever Link I'm feeling when I like look at the menu, basically. I think the world's apologizing for making you sick. Probably, something like that. It's gotta be something. We got Cat here, what's up Cat Dragon? Hello, hello. In three days, the update on the background will be. Oh, really? I was wondering. I was like, yeah, we got the avatar out, out, um, like update, but why haven't my backgrounds changed? Okay, I didn't. I thought they were supposed to happen at the same time. All right, well, good to know. Good to know. I actually thought about that today. Like, opened up my game and I was like, why does my background still look normal? Because <laughs> I see, I still keep seeing screenshots of people like playing and like seeing their backgrounds, and I'm like, what the heck? I mean, Rosalina, the star leads to, oh, to funny shenanigans. <laughs> Can't wait. No more boring and playing background, right? I'm jealous of other everybody's everybody's backgrounds. I'm surprised my little UK village got the Pogo background for half of America. Yeah, it just seemed to have be random users that would get it. I know some people in the US that have it. I didn't get it, though. And I've played since day one. Although I took, like, one, like, almost a full year off. I kind of lost interest, like, right before they dro dropped Gen 2. And I came back right before they started. Like, like right back in the uh, late Gen 2 era of Pokemon Go. I'm also hunting Ninetales and X. Friend Safari. I'm on Phase 3 for that right now. Uh, that's a side hunt. Ooh, but good choice, though. Uh, Shiny Ninetales is awesome. Super good. Cat, you're good? Yay! Awesome, Cat. Glad to hear you're good. Also, thanks for the 18 likes, guys. Let let's... Let's go. Let us go. Doing some planting tomorrow. Sage, garlic, cilantro, which tastes like soap, oregano, basil, chives, cherry tomatoes, beef steak tomatoes, and uh, and sweet banana peppers. Nice. I saw where they told uh told us Kentuckians to hold off on doing some gardening stuff because we're supposed to have some freezes this weekend. Like, I think tomorrow, Sunday, and Tuesday, we could have uh, some hard freezes or something or whatever. So they're like, be careful what you plant, green thumbs. We could we could get a little chilly. <laughs> a little chilly. A little flash freeze. Um, I came back to get the shiny Mew, but then realized I released to release shiny Shaman. So I have shiny Jirachi research, too, so I have a reason to play. You what you released them? Yeah, of course, that's not shiny. Did I hear something about eating soap? <laughs> no, I, the cilantro tastes like soap to me. It's a, it's actually a weird genetic thing. Um, so if you eat cilantro and you feel like you're t eating soap, then you're not alone. <laughs> I thought I was alone in the world until one of my coworkers one day said the same thing, and I was like, "What? Somebody else?" And I I actually ended up looking it up. Um. So it's Seelan. Seelan's name is pronounced Seelan. Really? I've always said uh, Cillian. <laughs> well, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm trying to knock out the starters on my Alpha Sapphire uh, and Shining Pearl DTQs, although 
Uh, they're very tedious, repetitive. Hoping this weekend session grants me one of them. Yeah, at least one of them would be nice. At least one of them would be a very, very epic to get. Um, you know, it takes a little load off your plate. We only get into the 40s. Yeah, I don't. I, I was actually surprised to see that today. I was. I refreshed Twitter, and our local weather guy was like, "Like, hold on, green thumbs, just a heads up. It's probably gonna get some freezes this weekend, or we have chances." Silent, silent. Oh, okay, that makes sense too. Silent. I feel like honestly, like people probably know who you're talking about. Man, that's more thirsty than I thought. I feel very, very parched for some reason. Got shiny each. Oh, look, I got the shiny charm today, and I'm going. I'm going for Masuda method for Fue Coco. Oh, nice, Adam. Way to go on the on the pick there. <laughs> and congrats on the shiny charm. It's, uh, I know people are like, we want the full national decks, but you know, you know how hard it is to catch all those 400 Pokemon. Dealing with all the trades and whatnot. It takes a while. Can you imagine doing that for over a thousand Pokemon? Woo! That name in the anime, it could be like a dub. It could be like a dub thing. Like the dub did it wrong too. It's one of the gym leaders in black and white. Yeah. Uh, Bolin, oh, yo, what's up? What's up, man? I haven't watched the stream in a while. How's it going? How's it going? How are you? Uh, Dorian, some shiny luck to Adam. I'd rather su suck a pair of jeans through a straw than catch a national dex. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing it as if we got, like, if you get the shiny charm for each region. Like, if it was, like, a full game with all the regions in it. Like, you know, you get the shiny charm for whatever your favorite region is. You just keep working your way through it. Uh, jam into Tears of the Kingdom music that's stuck in my, that's stuck in his head. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Little, little, what's that big choreography? <laughs> that guy's my jam. I admire his hype. Um, in my opinion, the issue isn't the national decks getting reduced. I'm more bothered by the fact that we're promised better animations for those who did make the cut. Yeah. I wonder if, you know, you know, they obviously focused on the ones that were going to be in Scarlet and Violet first, but I, you have to imagine they're, they have a team that are working on the animations for all the other Pokemon. Like, I have to imagine that's got to be a thing. Like, new animations and new models. Like, I could be wrong, but I don't know. If I was developing, if like, you know, at the rapid pace Game Freak is, I would have the, like, I'd have a team working strictly on the modeling. Like, hey, since, you know, people are going to be expecting new models and animations since we already did it once. So let's just get all of them done. People who have the full decks in home and be happy to, that's true. That's very, very true. Brooke! Hello, Brooke! Hello, hello! Pokemon Gale of Darkness was made by 30 people and had better, more in character animations than Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. It's a much smaller scale game, though. I mean, it, it's big, but I'll, like it's, it's smaller than to me than Scarlet and Violet. And but also, you know, maybe that game didn't have a rushing deadline. That's what the problem. That's the main problem to me that um, the core mainline games have is they're they're expected to be out by a certain date, certain time, certain window, once a year. It's just like, you know, like we don't need a Pokemon, a core Pokemon game every year. Like, drop some kind of, like, rando game, like, not just, like, I don't want another one right now, but, like, you know, for example, like, Detective Pikachu. Some, like, little story, smaller game, 10, 11 hours of gameplay, like, it doesn't need to be a core Pokemon experience every single time. As much crap as I give the Scarlet and Violet, you can't ignore the fact that the games are rushed. Oh, yeah, they're very rushed. Because, like I said, like, story's there. I feel like everything is put into the game, except they just couldn't... They didn't have time to finish, like, sewing up the, the game. Like, it, it's bursting at the seams, and then we get data bleeds. Uh, also, to the person who who was listening to Tears of the Kingdom music, uh, Colgara has the best theme. This is not up for debate. 
Let's see. Dorian, 59%. Cat. No, I'm watching this stream and empty stream both uh both at the same time. Nice, Tyler. <laughs> you got chameleon eyes where you got like one eye this way, one way that this way, and you're <laughs> Wouldn't that be such a nifty, nifty like ability? Just to look all over the place. I would love that. <laughs> uh next gen, they can import the Pokemon models from Scarlet and Violet with the nice scales and shiny metal, and they can focus on the Q Fint in the room, yeah, the environment. But yeah, they also, you know, they're going to have to create new models for all the other Pokemon, too, that they decide that are going to be in Gen 10. But I always say Gen 10 better be really good, because, I mean, that's like a big number. You know, like, people celebrate 10th anniversaries. Like, it's like a big milestone. Like, your 10th core game in the series. 10th generation. Um, Spartacus says, what I want for Pokemon Gala Darkness is to get a remaster so it doesn't cost 250 freaking dollars to experience its greatness. I know, right? Um, that's what I said. I, I don't like, I hate the retro market. I, like, I'm not, like, I always want to own the physical copy, but I really wish there was always an option to buy a digital version. Like, there's a ton of logistics that go into it, and copyright and just getting the rights in general to use it on a platform but i just wish like at least every you know nintendo game was on every nintendo console like if i bought the new switch 2 like the virtual console would have like every game like zelda whatever if, like i'd have to buy it but if i already bought it maybe like on the wii u and it was on my account then it would just carry over and it would just download like that'd be the dream but they'd make us pay for it every time Funnily enough, there was music that was stuck in my head. Oh yeah, the Colgara theme, it was stuck in your head. They gave the release one or two, uh, release one or two and made the legendary soft reset hunts. It probably been the best, uh, probably, wait, it, it would probably have been, oh, been the best Pokemon game ever? A uh, one or two years, yeah. They, they definitely needed another year, I think, in the oven. Me and my friend, uh, the process, me and my friend did one Tapu raid today. I'm pretty sure this is the first in general and the MF got a hundo. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sometimes you get that luck. You never know, pro. So you never know. Sometimes that luck just link <laughs> happens. I should mention I own both Coliseum and Gale of Darkness and physical CDs. And if it wasn't obvious, Gale of Darkness may not be my favorite game of all time. Hey, it's a good one. I never got a chance to play it, um, but I've watched stuff from it, and it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I, I'm down for. I'd be down for a remake of it. I'd definitely play through it, for sure. What's a hundo? It's in Pokemon Go when you get perfect stats, like when you do like the a praise, and you get you get like the three stars will go across, and it will light up red. Alkesh, thanks for the shiny luck, dude. How are you, Alkesh? How are you? Hundo legendaries are always cool, that's right. Shundos are even better, a shiny hundo. Those are always, always super awesome. I meant to say his first, in, oh, like his first raid ever? My oh, gosh. I mean, that's pretty, uh, pretty, Big welcome to the legendary raid life. <laughs> Your baby turkeys are starting to stink. Uh oh, do they stink? I mean, I guess they kind of just poop everywhere. When Pokemon Go was uh, wait, hold on. When Pokemon Go was new, mom didn't let me play it because she was worried I'd get hit by a car. Jokes on her. I didn't want to play. Uh, I didn't want to play anyway. You didn't like Pokemon Go. What a time when that game dropped. I know it's very corny and cliche to say now but it really was pretty crazy to see like you know it happened everywhere pretty much but my my city was just people playing pokemon go i'd go to work everybody's playing pokemon go like people i didn't even know like people that i i was like you you like pokemon like oh no i'm just playing it because everybody else is it's pretty fun <laughs> like it was crazy everybody's playing it at least for a week like 90 percent of the population was playing it it felt like <laughs> No first Tapu Bulu raid. Oh, for oh, just for Tapu Bulu. Okay, I thought you were saying maybe for their entire raid life. <clears throat> All the attention Lugia gets from the TPC 
Wait, TBC is the most egregious case of their favoritism for me. Wait, isn't Lugia cool though? I like Lugia. More like I didn't like walking? Oh, I love walking. I love walking, going out and touching grass, you know? It's good stuff. I'm not gonna, you're not gonna catch me out on a hike. No, I'm out. But, uh, you know, just being out in general, I like it. Chance for a wild hundo in Pokemon Go is 1 in 4096. A wild hundo, really? I never looked at that. I just know the shiny odds are like 1 in 400. But I didn't know about the uh, hundos. It's all reintroduction of Pokemon. Yeah, that's what the promotion they're run right now. Um, uh, Megatron. They're they're trying to get people to come back, but then they reintroduce like some terrible avatars. So it's like, ugh. Remember those days when the Santa Monica Pier were packed to the brink back in 2016? I bet. I mean, I went to Santa Monica Pier in 2017, like a year later, and I think that place just in general just packed. It was so busy, so so busy. This is the only first and only time I've been to the Santa Monica Pier. This is a, this is the same dude that got shiny top of Coco. Oh, okay. So maybe he just he's just got good. He's got the got some good luck on his side when you're with him. I still occasionally see po a little Pokemon Go groups in the communities in the UK. Yeah, we still have a lot of people that play here, especially on like community days. I'll go to the cemetery and there's a ton of people out. Laying in bed. Oh, you're not feeling good, Brooke. Oh, I had cheese and my stomach's cramping bad. Oh, not the cheese biting back. Hopefully that passes, Brooke. Hang in there. Hang strong. You got this. Missed that sentence, sentence up, but you get it. Yeah, I think I understand it now. <laughs> if I get one more ad for Hero Wars, that P the PC game, I'm going to show up for the advertising agency and wield, wielding a cast iron skillet. Hero, save me now. Uh, The Tapus love him. Tapus hate this one simple trick. Uh, it may just be my internet, but I keep lagging for about 14 seconds. I pay so much for internet, it's unforgivable. I, yeah, I'm not getting any, is anybody else getting lag? I hope not. I'm saying I'm having excellent connection. There's excellent connection, I got 5,000 kilobytes coming out to you guys. Um, typically when it drops, I see it, it's like, ugh. <laughs> my internet is garbage though. But right now, I'm not having any lags that I see. Bleep, bleep. Yeah, the cheese has done me dirty. When you cut the cheese, it cuts you back. No amount of heroics is going to save that trash game. The ads always attempt, attempt to lure people in with its, uh, is this even, with its, oh, is it even stream appropriate? <laughs> Hey, for one gig a second? Jeez. Who's your provider, though? You don't happen to have Spectrum, do you? I feel like we've talked about this before. I have Spectrum, and I always call it Rectum. Because <laughs> it's booty. Yeah, you have Spectrum. I just feel like, in general, they kind of blow. My mom just recently dropped them. She got tired of them. Like, she was having a lot of random lag spikes and stuff. Just, like you know, watching TV. So she was like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> she switched and she had like already had the new internet set up before she canceled. And so she was trying to cancel and they tried to like sell her on like coming back to them for an hour. She was like, no. And they like, she couldn't just hang up cause they wouldn't like cancel her service. She was like, I was about to like go there and rip them all a new one. <laughs> She's like, I could have just, you know, drove there while I was on my phone and told them, to F off in person. <laughs> I was like, you should have done it. <laughs> uh, this is also the same guy that got a lucky hundo squirtle and we are just two good friends on Pogo. We are hardly playing together. Maybe I am the uh, plus a to his luck. Maybe, maybe, maybe like I said, I think it is. I think it is. Megatron and I are the spectrum musketeers. Honestly, if they don't get their ish together, I'm going to probably switch. Um, it's just, I, I can't believe like the amount of problems I have with the internet. It drives me crazy. I had the 500 meg second. My wife and I couldn't both work from home. That's what I am on. I'm on the 500. Whatever's, whatever's underneath that. Cause I thought about upgrading, but I was like, do it. If I'm already struggling with their crappy internet, why do I want to upgrade to a gig? <laughs> like if it's still going to lag and stuff, I got legit 
when I was having bad issues, I, I don't know if you're here for this. When I was having bad issues with the internet, like a couple months ago, I had them come out and check my stuff. And the dude said, maybe that will work. You don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> He's like, yeah, a couple, like, there's a lot of service in your area. It might work in a couple months. Like, like what? Like, oh, that's not the answer I want to hear. <laughs> like I was like dumbfounded. I was like, what does that even mean? No. Uh, sorry, I was trying to see if you did a Masuda in Scarlet and Violet. How many eggs did your hunts take? Well, Adam, my way cocoa, I did, and it took me 5,000 eggs. But I'd have like long ones and short ones. It's all over the place. It probably averaged out to one in 512, honestly. Spectrum is probably on the spectrum. <laughs> all right, got to go. Have a good day, everyone. Good luck in ev to everyone. The shiny hunting, Brandon included. Bye. See you, Tyler. Adios, dude. Thanks for hanging out with us. But uh, see you later, Tyler. Have a good one. Um, do you hear that? Playing pogo with me provides luck. You are a charm. You are a charm. Are you always dumbfounded? Yeah, when people say stupid stuff to me, Cookie. Yes. So always, I'm always dumbfounded. <laughs> Except with you guys, because you guys are actually cool. But dealing with people in real life leaves me dumbfounded. Ho ever only ever shows up for me two seconds in the game. Every time Lugia has two moves about it, two moves about it. There's a baby Lugia, a really cool, unique shadow shiny form, with a game about it, and it's Poker Ride and the Journeys. Yeah, I mean, I, I like Lugia. I remember in the movie 2000, I was just like, Lugia is freaking dope. Thanks for the blesses, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I have a new Wi-Fi 7 router. Nice. My router's brand new too. I got it back in October. Um, it's one of the really, really good ones. Even when I, uh, even when my, the Wi-Fi guy came a couple, um, uh, it was like a month or two ago, he was like, Ooh, you got a nice router. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Cause I thought that would fix my problems because <laughs> my router was out of date. Um, so I went out and got a pretty nice one. Spent, spent the, uh, extra moolah. And at first I thought it worked, but then it started goofing off. Two people came out with two modems and neither would work. They were like, yeah, I hate that. Like, you do, like uh, I know it's not the, like, you know, I've been in those predicaments like where it's like, I got to try to figure something out and I can't at work for somebody. But I'm like, dude, like, come on. Like, like luckily I don't work from home or it would be a, it'd be a big problem. And also works here, says Prosk. I get a stable 1,330, 1,130 Mbps from the Gigabyte Fiber. Nice. Yeah, I want fiber. That's the main reason I want to switch, is I want to switch to fiber. Spartacus attack hearts. We fell. Thank you, Alkesh. Uh, hey, shiny man. Five minutes. Oh, till calm day for you. Doing the spoofy life. All I want is a little of a spoof life. All I need have a good time yeah, if you're streaming any good Wi-Fi in general my Wi-Fi is pretty good <laughs> for you know streaming the level I do but you know I would uh, I wouldn't mind having some fiber one day not just in my diet but in my internet I do work from home and it's a problem actually it's been better since I went a gig yeah I mean at least it's like you know when it works it works that's good I sometimes have to work from home. Yeah, if I if I did more work from home stuff, I'd probably have to switch for real. Like uploading things with our internet sucks. Like it is so slow. Like sometimes I'll like edit some clips here um, for like shorts on this channel and I'll like send them to like my Dropbox folder at work so I can edit them on like a, like, you know, just like a faster, I have more effects and stuff at, at work that I do on this computer. I like to keep it kind of like not bogged down since I stream on this computer. And um, so I send all my stuff to work, but when I upload it to Dropbox, it takes so long. It's like like a minute, 20 second video. It'll take like, I don't know, like five minutes to upload, which, you know, five minutes isn't long, but for a minute, <laughs> for a minute video, like it's 2024. At work, we have, we have fiber. And I'll drop something in Dropbox that's like an hour long and it'll upload instantly. Um, yeah, good question, Dorian. How was the Abigail movie, Elkesh? Favorite Three Days Grace song? Yeah, Fiber. There you go. Your Wi-Fi is the exact same E, really? 
I, I always get so mad when I try to upload something or I get like a call like, Hey Brandon, can you make this video? And I'm like, sure. But then I realize like, will it even upload? Cause sometimes the upload speed's so slow. It just times out. And I'm like, Oh, I have to try to upload it multiple times before it actually works. This is a good eight out of 10. Okay. Eight out of 10. Damn. That's pretty good. How dare you do do this to my bestie? Yeah, the cheese, the attack of cheese. Bum ba da bum bum. Boom, boom. That's what people are rating my cake pops. An eight out of ten. That's pretty good. Cake pops are the bomb, especially if it's chocolates. You know, internet's slow when a thumb drive is a valuable, <laughs> viable option. No kidding. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> Yum, cake pops. That's like the only thing I'll ever get at a Starbucks. Like Allison's like, I'm going to Starbucks. I'm like, I'll take a cake pop. <laughs> only if they have a chocolate one, though. I just wish they were bigger. They're just, you know, I can probably eat it in one bite. but I'll, I'll usually make eat it in three bites to savor the moment. But you know those like big jawbreakers? I want a cake pop the size of that on a stick. Give me that. Uh, some wedding I went to had cake pops, nice. That's a good idea, honestly. <laughs> A little easier. Uh, either Iron Bundle or Iron Moth. Do I have to pick one of those? I'd say Iron Bundle because I, I just love, I love, I love Robo Deli Bird. <laughs> my first sport, uh, my wait, my first, first sport was a Hundo. Wait, sport? What do you mean by sports? I'm assuming you're talking about Pokemon Go though. Anyone got a good, you got a movie suggestion for family movie nights? Emperor's New Groove. Uh, I like the Rice Krispie Treat with the marshmallows. Yeah, those are those are pretty always a pretty good choice. I like the homemade ones better though. I feel like the uh, no, like Rice Krispie Treats you can buy at the store they kind of have like a chemically taste to them now. I don't know if it's just cheaper ingredients or what. I think your internet is bad. One time I tried to record a super basic pre-installed game on OBS and my laptop overheated and almost immediately blew up. I mean that that might just be the laptop. I don't know if that. I don't think that's internet. That might be laptop not being able to handle, um, handle the, the game itself or whatever it was the program. Uh, shiny hunting. Oh, iron bundle. All right, nice. <laughs> Thought you had the chance of meatballs. Hey, there you go. One and two, because both movies are great. Oh, sprout bell sprout. Nice. Okay, <laughs> I was like sports. I'm so good at sports, I'm a hundo. Brownie's also a must, that's right. Brownie. Brand's a liar, he gets specific with, he gets very specific with a Starbucks order. <laughs> yes, you got me. I, I love going to spend a bunch of money on a drink. No, I'd rather spend a bunch of money on collectibles. Cloudy with a chance of cake pops. There's the third one. Bell Sport. Bell Sport. I mean, it was absolutely creating food at all times. So you, you, you got to assume that it created cake pops at some point. Had to have created a cake pop. Only the thing is the cake pop is alive. So you wouldn't be able to eat it. Taco Bell sprout. Wasn't there, didn't somebody make a, make a picture out of that one time? <laughs> Orlando, hey Orlando. How's it going, Orlando? You got a good one, Dorian. What's the good one? Oh, Cloudy with a chance of Baja Blast. Now that would be a sticky situation once it dried up. <laughs> Everything getting dumped with Baja Blast and the sun comes out. Ooh, that would not be good. It would smell great though for a little while. Jerry, what's going on, Jerry? Hello, hello. I still need to cop some of uh, the Mike's merch. Yeah, he's doing a little warehouse cleaning. Definitely pick some up while you can. 
Uh, for making a shiny sandwich, do you save before you make the sandwich or after? I save beforehand, so if I don't get a shiny, I close out of the game, and so I don't waste Urban Mystica. So I save, then open a picnic. Baja blasting off again, that's right. Some days you just want to Baja blast your brains out. Um, AO says Alkesh. <laughs> Hope you all are doing well. I cannot complain, Jerry. What about yourself? How's how's your Friday treating you? The day's so good, though. Yeah, on Wednesday I went. I'm. It was weird. Uh, not weird, but Wednesday I specifically went to Taco Bell mainly for a Baja Blast. I got food because it was lunchtime, but I was just craving a nice crisp Baja Blast, and thankfully it was a good one. It wasn't watered down. It wasn't flat. Because, you know, you can buy them in stores right now, but I don't like, they don't taste the same. Something about the ones in stores, they're not as good. I think they do it on purpose. So you miss the uh, Taco Bell version. Um, Let's see. 1% off for 169 Yeah, 168 for Dorian. Nice. Might go to Taco Bell on Monday. Hey. Get it, man. Get it, get it. I don't go as much as I used to, but there's no denying that I get the beck and call for Taco Bell every once in a while. I'm just like, ooh, gotta go get it. The spaghetti tornado is one, is only at the end of the movie. Burgers are the main food of the movie, but it's not even in the title. Yeah, but you know, I think Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is great. <laughs> it's a great title. I mean, it's mainly a book first. Going good. Setting up a new aquarium for my betta fish. Went from one gallon to five gallon tanks. So the little guy appreciates it. Yeah, a little room to move. A little bit of wiggle action. Nice. Nice. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Should go on a Tuesday. Yeah, Taco Tuesday. That is, you got a point, pros. So you got a point. I had a, had a real sugar MD today with my Chimkin Sando. What? A real sugar MD. Like a sugar mountain, oh, sugar mountain dew. I'm sitting here like trying to figure out what that is, but I think it's a sugary mountain dew. The real sugar mountain dew, like the old school one. It's not the corn syrup or whatever they add to stuff nowadays. Talk about should be burned to the ground, I'll cash. Oh, it doesn't have Baja Blast. Oh, that's why they give you guys discounts because they're like, they're begging you guys to come there, I'll cash. That's how you guys get discounts. <laughs> <laughs> that Taco Bell should be burned to the ground. <laughs> to buy it from the store. Ugh, the bottles are just not as good. Convince them, says Brosk. Uh, not allowed to eat out after a Monday. Really? Can't eat out after Monday. I don't know what's in my office, but every time I'm over here, my nose itches so much. Like something upstairs bothers my allergies, no matter what we do. <laughs> I even have an air filter up here. Just my nose, it always itches up here. Like I itch almost the entire time. That or sneeze. It's just kind of actually really bad today. Um, let's see. I gave him a two two car garage too, but the the guy doesn't know how much uh, mortgage he's gonna have to pay. Yikes! Yeah, property value on those aquariums are going up. <laughs> As someone who has never tried the Baja Blast and confirmed the one from Taco Bell is superior. <laughs> hey, I never had it, but you should go ahead and confirm it. Taco Bell should be on every street. I feel like that's too many. The one where I, the one by where I work is like never busy. Like every time I've ever went, like I'm the only person in the drive through. Like I can go at like 11 a.m. I can go at like 12:30 p.m., 1 p.m. It's always like very empty. And one day it burned to the ground, <laughs> and they just recently have rebuilt it, so it's like super modern looking and actually kind of boring. I miss the 90s aesthetic. It was the last one we had that had the sort of like 90s look to it. Had like the squiggle lines and the shapes. Still had all that stuff. Then it burned down. Speaking of which, think fast. Swerve. Swerve. Just got normal Mountain Dew. 
Honestly, though, Fountain Mountain Dew is pretty pretty OP as well. Electivire is one of the better subtle shinies. I, I, I like the eye change, Ruby. I like the eye change on it. Dink, 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 dink. Three twenty-six. Talk about my place. I swear they celebrate four twenty three sixty-five days a year. They're on to something. Does it have a certain uh smell in the air, Jerry? A thick smell. <laughs> that was like bats. You might want to chase that wait, that was like bats. You might want to chase that down. What? What do I gotta chase down? Hate the modern I I hate modern uh, fast food restaurant design in general. It's all the same, bland font, gray colors. <laughs> like it's just like like it's like almost looks like the the modern dystopia we've always always joked things would turn into, but it became real. I feel like Ash and Goku are brothers from a different dimension. <laughs> I always said Ash is Goku's son. <laughs> that chose not to fight. That's why he left left. Uh, Ash's mom. Oh, it was a like. <laughs> oh. Got it. Got it. Oh, I just get my order wrong nine out of ten times. I was having an issue with that. I, I'm I'm a picky eater. So I don't like the creamy jalapeno sauce on things. It tastes like pickles to me. And I like pickles, but not on my like food. Like on my like Taco Bell. Like it just doesn't taste right to me. So I don't like but they would always put it on if I went at like a specific time at night. So I don't go at night anymore. I'll go at like lunch or dinner time. Uh, Ash and Go have the same hairstyle, but it's similar. Yeah, that's why I always said it's kind of kind of close. Kind of close. Yeah, I caught it and I ate it. Speaking of likes, thank you, thank you guys. What I'm trying to say for the 27 likes. Uh, yo, Mr. Mini Guitarist. I feel like it's been a while. How are you? How are you? How are you? Also, bye, love. Hello, bye, love. Hello, hello. Uh, I love pickles. Just don't like them on pickles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As track, Brandon, dang it, my man, my friend, own me tonight. And smash. Oh, hey, it happens. Every once in a while, you know, your friends get lucky with the with the one two uppercut. Every once in a while. Um, Don here as well. Hello, Don. Any luck? No, no luck. No luck. Uh, you know, just kind of hanging out. <laughs> How are you, Don? How's your night going? Currently suspended, though. Oh, no. It's like from school? Suspended from school, Mr. Mini Guitarist? I'm sad we'll never get an Ash and Nimona interaction. I wouldn't say it's never going to happen. I, I, gotta, I just have a feeling one day they're going to bring Ash back. It'll be like a, you know, like... It, it, they'll whenever they need some ratings, they'll just bring some ash action back. Kind of wish happy hour at Taco Bell was at 1 p.m. and not 2 p.m. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too close to lunch though. A little too close to the lunch time. Good. Or eating some noodles mixed with curry. Nice. Sounds like a good, good, good meal. Let's go. Let's go. I need to change my count there. Uh, also, light goal 35. Let's do it. Let's do it. See if we can't get to 35. We'll keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, though in all brainlessness, I don't like the this one shawarma's pickles. They don't exactly suck, but they're not great on their shawarmas. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, like like with Chick Fil A, I I I don't I take the pickles off my sandwich, but I let them sit on for a little bit because I like the flavor the pickles leave behind. But I don't want the pickles on the sandwich when I eat it. It's such a weird thing that I do. <laughs> uh, T Sizzle, gotta go. Uh, tell you how the hunt went later. Sounds good, T Sizzle. Sounds good. Thanks for being here, though. Take care, and uh, we'll catch you around. See you, though. Now, curry is one of my favorite things ever. I know it's really super popular, Don. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Prefer the whole pickle? Oh, I do. I used to go buy the big old giant pickle for lunch when I worked in retail. <laughs> nice dill pickle. 
Although the little tiny little gherkin pickles are good too. I don't have a preference. Um, I meant to say, though all brainlessness aside, but I also wanted to say in all seriousness, I accidentally said both at the same time. <laughs> I, I was picking up what you were putting down though. Snickers, yeah, pickle talk. Have you seen the uh, Snickers that is full of, no, is the pickle that was full of Snicker. <laughs> the Snickle, I think it was called. Uh, I thought that just all, it just happens verbally. I can eat an entire jar of pickles if I'm not careful. They are good, especially if they're like the mini ones. They can, uh, they can be uh, um, pretty dangerous. Um, type this in wrong. It's not shiny. Do 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 do. Why is everything freaking web p now? That drives me nuts. Like, why? Why can't we have nice things? Like, I wanna. That makes me wanna like punch a wall. I have to like screenshot it because I was gonna bring it up on on stream here. <laughs> um, yo, Brandon S. Hello from Brandon R. I just found your channel through your failed Sprigatito of all things. You seem pretty chill. I love how you don't overreact to your shines and keep it natural. Definitely checking out more of your content. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Thanks. I can get a, you know every once in a while I can get pretty excited, especially if the hunt goes a long ways. But uh, yeah, I definitely. Have a, I feel like I have a cap of <laughs> at the level of like craziness for sure. But thanks for the thanks for that, uh, Brandon S. Appreciate that. But sue them. Wait, hold on. I saw I got mess some messages there. I got yelled at for playing my Switch during study hall. They said I tried to take. I said they tried to take it from me, but I told them I should sue them if they touched it. So I just put it away. But during study hall, aren't you supposed to be doing homework though? I know people used to get in trouble when I was younger um, when they break up their Game Boys in study hall. <laughs> um, let's see, I ran into Alpha Gengar. Oh, not shiny though, unrivaled. Ugh. I like the peanut butter Snickers. Here's the one I was talking about, this one right here. This blasphemy, it's not real, but it's, it's straight up blasphemy. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. Would anybody, would anybody try it? Anybody try that blasphemy on my screen right now? The snickles. <laughs> it's so nasty sounding. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> uh, whenever I heard pickles, I remember the episode of Ben 10, Alien Forest, where Ben had a pregnancy craving for pickles. I mean, it can happen. Uh, as track, what can be saved as JPEG if you uh, save with the under choice of all files and adding the JPEG? Oh, okay, I'll need to remember that. I used to do that with like some stuff. All right, cool. When I when you get as many Pokemon as you and I have, it becomes quite common. That's real, very real, Don. <laughs> Shido with the hype. I was done with all of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. We used to like have to like sit there quietly or whatever no matter what i think it's not real no it's not real it's not real <laughs> jerry says i'll stay hungry thanks like not even in an apocalyptic situation there's nothing to eat and they're like well all we got are these rejected snickles that uh nobody ever wanted to eat i think if i was absolutely starving and there was nothing else to eat i'd probably just force it down but i would not be having a good time eating that <clears throat> Uh, wish I joined afterwards is very famous. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh man. I mean, uh, some shinies are naturally more exciting. I saw your shaman from BSP. That's a nice shiny. Yeah, and that took a long time. It took a long time in general, that hunt did. Um, it's good stuff though. It's good stuff. But yeah, you know, not every shiny is going to be like, ah, yes! <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fish post. I think Brandon would have a pregnancy craving for Taco Bell nacho fries. Oh yeah, I get those all the time. And I can't get them because, you know, Taco Bell's like, no, we're not doing nacho fries right now. Blasphemy. Speaking of blasphemy, that's blasphemy. Um, Snickles, you're still you when you're hungry. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Dorian, that's great. Hey, there's Brandon S. sub popping up. Thank you so much. Get to the little Animal Crossing sound effect. Boom, boom. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Going for a shiny living dex. Not exactly, but you know, one day I'd love to get there, but I don't want to like commit to it 100% because I feel like I'll want to start to rush. I kind of just want to like enjoy the run, you know? Uh, do sh just shiny hunt things I don't have. I just enjoy, I more enjoy the dynamic of like shiny hunting, talking with people. Um, so yeah, no, no rush, but I would love to one day. It'd be, it'd be awesome to like one day realize like, oh crap, like we're getting close. <laughs> um, where am I at? I forgot where I'm at. Jerry says, Snickles makes me think of spicy nickels. Probably has the same taste. Probably. I'm like picturing it. I'm fa like, you know, I'm imagining it now. Ugh. If they take anything of mine, they are getting sued for millions. <sighs> I don't know if millions is going to happen though. <laughs> um. Oh, we're getting raided. We're getting raided. Shiny Litton raid. What's up, guys? Speedy route. There's Shiny Litton. How's it going, Shiny Litton? How's it going? How was the stream? What were you guys up to? What were you guys up to? Um, finally, I have 570 for shiny Pokemon alone. Dang, Don. Holy cow. You're not you when you're hungry, so how about we derive you of your appetite? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Cook you with that hype there. Um, we're getting raided. Yes, we are getting raided. We also have... Uh, is it is it Kilt? Wait, hold on. Uh, that's Kit Fox. How's it going, Kit Fox? We got Weasel. Hello, Weasel. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Shiny hunting. Are you guys doing some shiny hunting? Make sure you guys click on that link there. Allison just dropped. Show some appreciation for that raid. Click that button and you know make make that make that little link feel special. It's the least we can do to show some appreciation. Uh, what's going on, Shorts? Hello, Shorts. What's up, guys? Oh man. Wow. Okay. You know, the the word one of the things uh uh you shouldn't do when you join a <laughs> when you join a stream is is do that. Um wow. All right. Sorry guys. Sorry for the nink and poops. That's awesome. <laughs> That's always awesome. But we got that got that sorted out. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Apologies, apologies. Uh, Shaman says I can get millions out of them. Taking stuff would be the straw that would break the camel's back, so I get millions. I, I don't think I get millions though. <laughs> I know we'd all want millions, but I know people that have been in real bad for real stuff and don't get millions <clears throat> sorry viewers are rambunctious yeah i'm just not gonna tolerate it though i'm just you know sent to the shadow realm to never be seen again <laughs> i guess you'll see him in the in your next stream <laughs> say i was dehydrated in my bathroom and fell backwards oh my gosh master umbreon yikes are you okay that's a scary situation hopefully you didn't hit your head on anything crazy uh, don't worry about nothing, Brandon. The stream mafia is here for you. Yeah, I, I I knocked him out. I rapid fired that ban button. Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, two spinners back to back. Sax with a saber that time out, frame by frame. Right. Now I do it. I do it, or Allison does it. <laughs> uh, they're going to the distortion world. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And whoa, yeah. If you're gonna come into a stream just to do that, I'm sorry. I'm not. I I'm not. I don't. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I feel like you know. Overall, like we got a lot of really freaking cool people here, and you know, if, if people aren't gonna you know play by common sense rules, I'm not gonna deal with it. Easy peasy. <clears throat> Went to the back rooms. Yeah, just on just in my neck of the woods. It was concerning. Yeah, hopefully that's not a. Thing that happens again, Master Umbreon. Um, let's see. Just hatched more eggs and uh, no shiny male meowth yet. It's one of those hunts by love that's gonna 
seems that it's just going to make you make you work for it, give you a little trouble. <laughs> That's very fair, right? Uh, you do have me here, and I'm awesome as given physical form. That's right. That's right. Yeah, overall, like I said, I've always said 99%, 99.9% of people that come through here are awesome, and I have no problems with. <laughs> I'm always ready, though, for the point zero, the 0.01% 0 .01 that's going to be silly. Be silly and whatnot. Shiny Litton's got very good luck. Well, that's good. Did you get a shiny tonight, Shiny Litton? Did you get one? Remember the time I got time out on my keyboard, fell off my desk? Yeah. <laughs> well, we only, we mainly did that. We knew we, we weren't going to like ban you or anything. We knew that it was just like an issue. <laughs> like we knew you wouldn't do that willingly. <laughs> um, especially considering that was their first message and they were very much planning on doing that again, right? Short. Thanks for the sub there, Short. Appreciate you. Thank you, Short. Thank you, thank you. Bro says, I'm the most awesome. The awesomestest. <laughs> Wonder what their band name called in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> uh, can you by chance trade me a normal spirit tomb? I will give you a shiny Gligar if you want to. I just need it for my decks. I mean, anybody can help you in the chat. I just don't have the have the time at the moment since I'm doing uh, soft resets. I can't really get out of uh, this kind of loop at the moment. I'm doing it since I got doing soft resets. I'd ruin my uh, my setup I have here. <laughs> but if anybody else can help out Weasel with a shy, with a normal spirit tomb for the uh, for the decks, if you got one just chilling, that'd be awesome. That'd be dope. Cookie with hype, 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 -dee hype. Boom. I have an entire box of shiny scissor, but you want more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You've missed my messages, have I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, it's actually moving really fast. Um, I'll get your shiny target in your stream. Um, I saw the in your stream thing, but I thought that was too short or something. Um, yeah, here. Um, 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 um. Uh, I had to rehatch it at the end of the stream. Oh, what'd you get? What'd you get there, uh, there, Shiny Litten? What was it? What was the target? Do you think that there will be every one million Pokemon? Maybe one day. If it keeps going, it's bound to happen. If Pokemon falls off a cliff one day, then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, give me a moment. I got one for you. Give me a moment. Nice. I got shiny Sprigatito. Oh, nice. Sprigatito. I, I actually really like the, like, you know, speaking of subtle shinies, Sprigatito is one of those subtle shinies I really like. It's a good one. Well, congratulations, Shiny Litten. Congratulations. You're spamming the heart button. No, I can deal with that. <laughs> as long as it's not spamming the chat, I'm good. Like little, little icons don't bother me. <laughs> That's what you're hatching right now, too, Brandon. Nice. Well, good luck on Sprigatito. How long have you been hunting it? There won't be a million because Global War will probably be oof us before then. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But I like to have a little bit of an optimistic th thought process. But, you know, like there's people out there who are like cleaning up the trash and the uh, oceans and planting trees and stuff. And I like to think maybe, maybe those people can offset. You know, the heart spams, yeah, the icon on the side, <laughs> or whatever, wherever it is for you guys, I don't know, I see it flying with stuff right now. Uh, reset, so more people could see me hatch it. Oh, okay, I mean, you could just, you know, record the, the hatching on your, uh, thingy here. <laughs> and then you can just play the video for people. Just play the video once they come in, like, yeah, look at this, I got it. Or, you know, rewind the stream. <laughs> I'm probably 200 eggs uh, in, so honestly, not long. I hatched one already in about 90. Oh, you already got one in 90. Nice. That's good. <laughs> That's awesome that you already got one. So you're, I'm assuming you're going for the whole line. Using your auto clicker on the heart. Rapid fire. Stupid rapid fire. All right, I meant super rapid fire. I don't know why it came out as stupid. It's a combination of super and stupid. <laughs> 
was messing around with you. I know. I'm just saying. I, had to, I, had to, I was making sure to clarify because you never know who's going to be like, take that and be like, ooh, I want to do that too. And go. <laughs> I try to, try to prevent the, uh, the people that follow. <laughs> be lucky if we get another 4,000 years. Hey. For generations and generations and generations after me, I hope that we're around for more than 4,000. The human race. I hope I'm not around for another 4,000 years. I don't think I can I can take that. <clears throat> I'm content that one day I will not be here anymore. <laughs> but I would love that the Earth would last for many, many more generations. Uh, going for a living dex. Yeah, I'm 13 away from all, pal all, all of them. Pal all the Paldean Pokemon. Nice. That's excellent, Brandon. Let's go. One day you'll need slow mode. Nah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I was. Just, we were just talking about this week. I like average like 25 subs a month. <laughs> it's like this slow, gradual grow. Maybe, but I don't know. It'd be cool. Like we're after resort to that. That'd be good signs, but I'm just enjoying what we got right now. Can't wait until the national dex is at least 800,000 Pokemon. That'll be the day they're like, every Pokemon's in the game, and to get the shiny and charm, you have to catch all 800,000. It's like, ugh. Tango for president. He would give everybody one bite. <laughs> if humans want to survive, we will have to leave Earth. I think so. I think so, but hopefully not for a long, long time. Two Brandon numbers, uh, wait, whoa, two Brandon numbers, one and number two, oh my gosh. Or you can just go R and S. <laughs> I'm the R, and that other Brandon's the S. Like the live, guys, what are we at? We're at, yeah, 31 likes. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I know, like, I don't know, some people got the new YouTube layout. I got it, um, I don't like the new YouTube desktop layout. If I want to like someone's stream, I have to close the chat. Then I can like the stream. Then I have to click show chat again. And I'm like, ew. Ew. Uh, Weasel says, Dom, when you are ready, just pop in a code in the chat. Yeah, I don't mind if you guys trade. Should I stop my auto clicker? Up to you, Shiny Litten. I have no problem with that, with that uh, icon thing at all. Um... Okay, she says, yup. That's, uh, that's Muck's other, other cousin. Yuck, uh, Muck, meet Yuck. I had the desktop for a day. I hate it, luckily. I brought it back. Really? I, I was looking at a way to change it back. I went to my settings and everything. I couldn't change it back. Because I don't, I don't like it. I like when the description's underneath the video. And then the chat's over here. And then recommended videos are underneath the chat. Like, but now, it's like video, recommended videos, full chat on the right hand side and then I have to close out to find the description when it switched over I was like what is this this <laughs> this sucks I, I don't know how to like the stream I was so confused um let's see do you have a, a, sh a favorite shiny you've hunted um probably Poiple at the current moment I finally got to shiny hunt Poiple and uh it's such a great shiny like my gosh um, I'm excited to do my second one so I can get the uh, evolved form. But what about you? What about you, Brandon? Shiny Litten says, I'm yuck. Did you find that shiny spark plug yet? Not yet, dude. Not yet. Still looking for it. Uh, hitting Triceratops. Say hey, nice. Well, keep hitting those Triceratops. Gotta go until failure. Duck is Muck's other cousin. Duck. Quack. President Tango had banned the mail delivery system. No, he would just ban neighbors. <laughs> he banned anything that moved that's not me and Allison probably <laughs> and my and my mom and brother uh, laptop windows die so fast well it depends on which PC you have by the battery I know I know like Google Chrome will sap power battery and everything I like Google Chrome but it's pretty taxing on a computer I want a Victor Bell in real life so I can watch it eat. They're so big though. I'd be afraid it would eat me like how James has kept eating him. My personal favorite shiny I have is Porygon. Porygon is a great shiny. Very, very sick shiny. Tango would make a good Borkadent. <laughs> uh, Poiple's sick. I'm planning to get mine soon, but I have so many planned before. Uh, favorite is probably my Shaman. I'm glad they enabled that shiny. Yeah, I know, right? 
BDSP got me excited that we were getting more opportunities to shiny hunt um, like mythicals and stuff. And then Scarlet and Violet comes out with their DLCs and they're like, ah, uh, uh, nothing is shiny. I mean, nothing over legendary. Well, I'm, like nothing like legendary and above is shiny huntable at all. So it's like, boo, that kind of blows. Also, if I ever cuss one day by a complete accident, please give me time to delete it before timing me out. No, you're good. You're good. Um, let's see. Weasel, did you see Don's thing? It's uh, 1500, 1500. 1500, 1500. That's uh, something that constantly worries me. No, you're good. Like, I try to keep it like, sort of family friendly, but and I don't want people to be cussing constantly, but I know some of you guys drop some in here every once in a while. I, I, I don't read it out loud personally, but I know, I know some of I see your all's stuff. I don't want it to be a common thing, but at the same time, it doesn't offend me <laughs> at all. What would be Tango's Vice Borkident? Um, I don't know. I don't know who his, his person would be. Do an intoxicated stream. Well, there was a member stream one time, Astrak, but I will never do it on public stream. <laughs> I have my favorite brilliant diamond toy cousin. Brilliant diamond to wait, toy cousin. Brilliant diamond toy. What do you mean by that, Swole? Uh, Meloetta would have been perfect. Yeah, Meloetta would be awesome. I still haven't caught Meloetta in Scarlet and Violet. I know you have to find it in the DLC, but I never went and tried to find it. Um, he recently got a switch for uh for his lid and asked me if I was willing to spare a game for his kid to play. Oh. <laughs> you bleep, 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 bleep. He's top saying bleep. <laughs> The Game Freak Shiny Locked Legendary Pokemon Scarlet. We all became ghosts and said boo. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. And my hype deflated. But I ended up enjoying the DLC. But that first night, I was very distraught. Incarcerated stream. <laughs> Vote for your mom's dog. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I ever told you guys. Because was, it was, it was kind of like intense. And I don't want to get on a sad note here and everything. But... Back in December, my mom lost uh, lost Toby. Um, he started having uh, some bad problems and had to be had to be uh, uh, laid to rest. And so Tango's Tango's the only family dog we have at the moment that we, that we share as a family. Curse like a stay early in real life, but I re chill on YouTube stream comments. Well, Ruby, I appreciate it. You know, I'm I'm pretty crazy not crazy I, I say bad words in person too but i don't say it on stream i don't say this stuff on stream uh what are some of the mass outbreak shiny hunting tips and techniques um mass outbreaks i'd say faint 60 once you faint 60 save and then uh you know either shiny hunt all that stuff or uh you can make a like a level two sandwich to get more spawns or if you have Urban Mystica, you can do a level three sandwich for that specific type and really boost them. I don't know how the odds are, but they get really good. <clears throat> and Dory, no, it's all good, dude. It's all good. Um, it's not your fault. I didn't talk about it for a little bit because it was like, it was actually, it, I, even though he wasn't around for a while, it actually hit me pretty hard. And because um, he he's a good little guy and nobody really wanted him. My mom picked him up and... She did a lot for him and he um he like the thing he, he always got returned to the humane society because he had like really bad allergies and itchy skin and people didn't want to deal with it but my mom worked with him and all that stuff got red and she worked hard to make him good but just some health issues creeped up and um unfortunately on christmas eve it was christmas eve um things happened and it was it was it was kind of kind of a bummer, but um, you know he I, I'm very grateful he got he got to be with my mom because if anybody's gonna treat a dog like a king, it's gonna be my mom. <laughs> uh, about one in eight hundred with a sandwich. Wait for in Scarlet and Violet. In Scarlet and Violet. I know like if you do an outbreak, faint sixty and something, it's like really low, like really really low. <clears throat> Hey, I didn't say hi. I don't think I said hi to you, Wilkins. Hello, Wilkins. Hello, hello. 
All dogs go to the moon when they die. Yeah, they don't leave forever. Yeah, dogs dogs are amazing. And so are other pets. But I'm a little biased to dogs. I love dogs. I remember when the grown-ups, uh, member stream, I'll never forget. When, <laughs> yeah, the member streams, I let them be a little more. Well, back in the day, like, there wasn't gifted membership. So typically people in member streams were over 18. So once, once uh, gifted memberships became a thing, um, we had to really tone them down. But uh, yeah, I used to let all whatever fly in member streams just for the heck of it, because I was like, you know, you know, I'll let you let you all do your thing. <laughs> but you know, once anybody can get a membership, I just don't personally feel comfortable like saying languages. I don't want some kid's first experience with me being me like being crazy. I miss my dog, uh, Amora. She died due to having too many too many ticks. Really? Oh my gosh, it's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss as well, Ruby. It's one of the things I I I the one of the weird ways I deal with loss is like I, I typically will remember the uh you know, just kinda remember all the good times. All that good stuff. Did it affect Tango? I I don't think it did. Um, my mom said he would, when the, the first time he came over at like within it was like the first, it would have been a couple, couple of weeks. And she said Tango was looking for him and, you know, a little, a little like, you know, kind of like what's happened. <laughs> like, where is he? But apparently he's, he's fine now, but I'm sure he misses his, his bud. I, I was, that's one thing I loved is that they were like really good friends. <clears throat> Guts and Toshi should live until 1215. Well, hopefully they go even f further than that. Hopefully they're around for a long, long time, Don. Um, yeah, over 18, yes. But, you know, some people that gift, get gifted memberships are not. <laughs> are not at all. Uh, Dash, I'm dealing with a rough day. 17 years ago, I lost your father. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dash. Hopefully you can get through today. And, um, and yeah, like... Like it's that's never a, never a good situation. I, I lost my father as well. Not today, but um, I can understand how difficult it is. Uh, I had a mischievous outbreak in PLA, and I want tips for getting a shiny one. Oh, at PLA. So, like I said, what I would do is I faint sixty. And if you don't want to count the sixty, there's like an alert that pop up. It was it'll be like this outbreak's getting lower. And then the next the next one it'll be like this outbreak's even getting more low or something. I don't know what it says anymore. Um, after that one pops up, faint about 13 more, then save, and then kind of run around. Don't faint any, but run out, let them despawn, come back, keep circling around, and hopefully a shiny will pop up. Uh pros, no, Tango's still around. Tango's still around. This is my mom's my mom's dog. Tango's Tango's buddy. Yeah, Tango's still here. He's still here, thankfully. Uh, interestingly enough, my mobile data uses less data from battery because Rogers installed a tower 50 feet from my apartment. Um, really? I, I I feel like data is used all the same, no matter where you are. It's kind of like a like cell phones are around, <laughs> like they just kind of ping off things. I know that I don't think that affects battery too much, does it? I don't know. I don't know too much about that, but I've never heard that. Uh, pros when Toby passed away. It was uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th. December 24th. He was put, he had to be put down. Um, Adrenaline mobile rates uses more data and battery because towers are far away. Yeah, I don't know too much about the cell phone stuff, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um,. That's for Scarlet and Violet. Are you asking me, Wilkins? Yeah, that's the that's for Scarlet and Violet. But that's for yeah, outbreaks. If it's an outbreak. You have a joke. What is it, Unrivaled Phantom? What's the joke? Uh well, Sasuke is colder than Vegeta. His moments are very cold. I like it. it gives me chills. Assuming you like that character. I honestly have never watched that character. <laughs> yeah, I won't have to use this prosk. Why did the pumpkin get scared? Because it had no guts. <laughs> the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I think you have to be like, why did the jack-o'-lantern get scared? The yeah, pumpkin could still have the guts in it. 2023? Yes. 2023. A couple months ago. But I didn't, you know, 
the main reason I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to bring a bunch of bad vibes into the stream and get everybody sad. And like I said, I was kind of having issues with it for a little bit. <clears throat> I give Tango a little pat on the head. If he wasn't a meanie pants, I'm sure he'd appreciate it, Shiny Litten. <laughs> well, let's just take out the equation that he doesn't like people. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. We haven't brunch this weekend, Cookie. I don't know, man. I'm already full right now. Uh, Allison will go. <laughs> like thinking about it, like I like I weirdly like feel full like right now. So like thinking about brunch is actually like makes my stomach like go. Eh. <laughs> For the uh, PLA outbreaks, there'll be eight to ten spawns, and they might be shiny. You can't soft reset them because they're predetermined. Yeah. So what you do is like. Uh, the spawns be floating around check to see if any are, are shiny and if they're not shiny like run away till they despawn and then kind of like run back around and then you know more will spawn each time there'll be a different spawn every time you like legit run like physically run in the game like not, not run away from a pokemon what did cinderella say when she got to the ball wow that's a big ball i don't know <laughs> Uh, the odds are like 190, 120, depending on the shiny boost. Okay, yeah, I know it's really, really good. I have two, uh, uh, two, oh, two, wait, is it two sentence horror story? Oh, choking noises. Yeah, that's a little extreme. <laughs> I have heard that one. I have heard that one, but <laughs> not, uh, not gonna, not gonna stick around on that joke. <laughs> Uh, Cookie trying to make my stomach rumble at 3.45 a.m. I mean, it's almost, technically it's breakfast time. That's breakfast time, Alkesh. <laughs> Sasuke. That's probably not how you say it. <laughs> From Naruto. Yeah, I've never watched Naruto. I have a friend that really likes really Nar really likes Naruto, but I never got in, like, never had an urge to watch it. Very dirty joke. I hope you get it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> my doctor confirmed my Samsung health is very accurate. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. Honestly, I've never told my told a doctor about my watch health ever. <laughs> I'm just like, oh sweet, I completed my rings today. Cool. <laughs> good one, you can't lie. It is. It is. I've also been trying to find a good time to bring up a crazy shiny hunt that I had recently. Well, what is it, Fairy Famous? What is it? I was going to shiny hunt a Klotzer and Violet and I got it in one minute. And use the rest of the sandwich to find a shiny wug trio. Did you get both? Did you get both? Pantering everyone to brunch. Yeah, if I win the lottery, maybe. That's pronounced sa sk. Sa sk. Woo. Uh, end up finding a oh finding a Gyarados next sandwich. Two shiny spawned at once. Another Gyarados and a wug trio. Oh, nice. So you got what you wanted plus another bonus. That's good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> so, sometimes I pronounce thing wrong on purpose when the official just can't get sound right. Yeah, I'm over here messing around. I I, I know it's Sasuke. <laughs> I'm just over here like goofing. <laughs> I'm making my. I'm trying not to make myself laugh with the sa sa sk. Like I'm legit trying not to be like like laugh at my own jokes. But I did. That I I, I did. Uh, Poke Gathers raid. What's going on, Poke Gathers raid? How are you guys? How are you all? We got uh, Unikitty here. Uh, we got Inde. How's it going? Hello, hello. Um, let's see. I'm trying to. I'm like lost where I was. Uh, let's see. Could also be uh, SK, depending on your dialect. Japanese is phonetic. Be awesome. Uh, but you, wait, but you all, often smooth syllables in the middle are at the end of the words. Okay. All right. Ooh, all right. All right. I'm trying to catch up here. We got Big Cheese Thrifts. What's going on, Big Cheese Thrifts? Good to see you. Got Lunala. Uh, your laugh was way funnier than the joke. I Yeah, I, I laugh at my own jokes a lot. We got Tyler here with the hefty hype. We got Strings. What's up, Strings? We got uh kirk here with the hefties that's a that's intense how you type that we got bonnie bunny here what's going on what's going on hello hello we got dorian here we got aaron hello aaron 
Uh, I was never a mod here, bro. Oh, wait, hold on. What did pros assume? Oh, Happy Kyogre. I think Heracross is the hardest shiny to get. Really? Hefty. There's Hefty with the 24 months. Thank you so much there, Hefty. Thank you for the raid as well. Appreciate you. I think we had an exclamation point Hefty, eh, if you want to do it. Uh, hey, Amber's here. What's up, Amber? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Um, Rose, Vila Star. What's going on, Rose? Hello, Rose. What's up, guys? <laughs> How was the stream, Hefty? How was the trade stream? I was setting things up, and I was like, whoa, Hefty's live on a Friday night? What? <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> How did it all go, man? How was it? I laugh at my stupidity sometimes. Does that count? Nah, no, it does. It really does. I, I, I laugh at my stupid jokes all the time. Like, I'll make a crap. Like, the other day, I made, like, a joke, and I was, like, already laughing by the time I was trying to say it. I was like, on it. 45 likes, too. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Sakura and Naruto so much. Stomach is belly from the ghost pepper wings. Uh-oh. Gave away 120 of shinies. Jeez. Was it, were, were they duplicates, or were you just like, I don't want to be a shiny hunter anymore? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't ever give up on that, Hefty. I'm assuming they're all de uh, duplicates, though, right? Imagine laughing at your own jokes. I will. <laughs> you are not welcome. <laughs> you are not welcome. <laughs> Makes me think of like when I was a kid and I thought I was like hardcore. Hammerhead giving us a light goal of 65. Swifty five. Shiggy shifty five. Yes, sir, Hefty. Awesome, man. That's that's good though. That's good. Was it all games or do you have like a specific game? Yeah, Hammerhead, by the way, I'm here. I see you. See you. Now you're up the pin at the top of the of the chat. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. But yeah, that link that Allison dropped up there. Make sure you guys go check out Hefty. Hefty's an awesome dude. And obviously gives away shiny, so you don't want to miss out if that happens again. <laughs> um Billy's part of the the raid. Coming in coming in late. Hey, no, you're right on time. You're right on time. The whole wave just like got in you know so you're good good to see you billy hope you're having a good evening just eating jalapenos yesterday the jalapenos bros nice not a bad character orlando uh if i don't laugh at my jokes nobody uh, ruby that's the that's the way i look at it like at least if i laugh at my own jokes like somebody's laughing at it no it's an extra bonus if somebody else chuckles you know he says, oh, you're back, but uh, I got one. Well, so, hold on. I got not one shiny, but two shiny iron bundle. Nice. Double, double hype, dude. Double hype. My dear daughter is out in the garden, garden watering the plants before we leave to go out to dinner. Nice. What's for dinner? What's for dinner, Rose? Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. You know, poker gathers with your friend. I mean, you know, I feel like us poker tubers all kind of sort of know each other. <laughs> Not like IRL, but you know, we we like know know of each other. You know, <laughs> that makes sense. I know sometimes that doesn't make a single bit of sense. <laughs> Uh, raccoon boy part of a raid let's go what's up raccoon boy what's up what's up hammerhead just says bye all right see you later hammerhead take care adios adios <laughs> uh not sure what we what usually we drive around till we find something that sounds good oh i can't do that <laughs> i have to know where we're going i'm not out there gonna be out there like wasting gas and or battery like trying to figure out like where should we should go what should we do I think we got rated twice at the same time. That's what I was trying to figure out. Because I saw every once in a while, like, things, like, poke, poking up and some others not. So I was, like, trying to figure that out. So just as a precaution here. Just as a precaution, guys. Hold on. Grab the uh, other link, just in case, just in case. But this is also Poke Gatherer's link, guys. Make sure I had the I had to go to my sub list to find that one. 
There we go. Make it a little easier on A. <laughs> Lighten the load a little bit. But make sure you go check out Poke Others as well. Show some appreciation for these raids. And also, um, just for the uh, for the extra one time for the one time, I'm going to give Hefty another shout out. Because <clears throat> Hefty is awesome too. And we'll make sure everybody gets 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 some love shown to them. Three of one special. Yeah, hilariously. Yeah, some raid names sounded very different. I know. I was trying to like chase things around there for a second. <laughs> um let's see. Allison, do you play Pokemon as well? Surprisingly lately, a little bit, yeah. She's currently maybe. Oh, did it? Yeah, it was sitting there for a little while. When you close it, it still runs. Just on sleep mode. I don't want to constantly leave it on the ch on the charger and hurt the battery. <clears throat> yeah, we usually drive around for a while before you both agree on something to eat. Oh, gosh. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very much a planning person. Uh, 5G tower is closer than my Wi-Fi station. Nice. I think we have a tower like right across the street from me, honestly. And when I was growing up, they built one across the street from me as well. <laughs> I remember when they built it, everybody was like, we're going to get cancer and our brain's going to turn to popcorn. It didn't. Spoiler alert. Um, I'm the number one fan of Hefty, Bats, and Kirk. Well, Prosk, I'm, um, I'm glad. I'm, I'm honored. That's what the right word is, I'm going to say. Honored to uh, be in that list. And Cam and Brooke and Dang, there's a lot of good people in this community. There are. There are a lot of good people. There are a lot of good people. Is Kirk still here? I didn't get a chance to say hi to people when he when they jumped in. Yeah, there's Kirk popping in. Post a pic of the 5G tower. Nice. We usually go through like 50 different restaurants. It's kind of sad. I don't think we. Oh, well, I'm sure. I'm sure we do have at least 50 restaurants here, but I can't even name off 50 different restaurants. I I pick the same places all the time. That's why I always give Allison first choice because I'm going to pick something that I always do. Because we are the less data you use and the less energy used. Hmm. I have to look that up. Uh, put simply, I am the, the Dick Grayson to bats. Cookie says, Kirk didn't say hi to you. I thought I saw something to you. Boop, 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 boop. What does 5G mean? Um, It's just the current cellular data that's flying through the air. I forgot what it means. <laughs> I forgot what it means, honestly. I'm just like, sweet, I got faster cell service. Um, oh, did I get lag? Sorry if there was lag, guys. I just noticed I got like a, like my YouTube thing flashed yellow for a second. Run away from that. Uh... Fifth is a fifth generation. Yeah. Oh, it's the fifth generation mobile network. Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything together, including machines, objects, and devices. One GBPS up and down and all around. Yeah, honestly, I didn't know it was like, like that meant like five fifth generation and it makes so much sense. <laughs> I've I, I, it's one of those things like I should know but I've never looked up or just never have heard in passing that's kind of silly that I didn't know that honestly a little bit of a shamed but you know it's not a big deal I feel like not one of those like useful knowledge things I need to have don't tell the crazy conspiracy but <laughs> everybody's a conspiracy theorist now I swear it feels like or maybe I just use Twitter too much I saw where uh, I think it's Tennessee passed a passed a law about uh, banning chemtrails. I was like, "Oh, scared of condensation." I see. <laughs> I'm going for the same shiny now. 
Going for the same shiny. You're going for uh, Electifier? 6G will be in 2030. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> I was seeing a try not to eat video on YouTube and there was a dessert called Richard being clean. Can't say what it's called. Uh, oh yeah, spotted dick. <laughs> That's just what it's called. <laughs> I don't think it's being inappropriate. It's just what it's called for, but it's one of those things that make you go, ee -hee, that's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the ladder. The faster the data, the less expelled. Oh, oh you're going for Electivire? Heck yeah, let's go. Electivire hype party. Problem with fast data doesn't work very far distances. Um. It's still, I mean, still good stuff though. Still good stuff. Profanity? What's your profanity? Ugh, Kirk. Uh, I thought all of us don't swear in this chat. Who's swearing? <laughs> That's a, what I said was a food. It's literally a food. <laughs> uh, the only sad thing is I'm down only my, oh, two Urban Mystica. Ugh. You got to do some like five star and up rage, which sometimes can suck. I'd always find bug type raids because they always seem to like, I know there's always Pokemon that have a higher chance of dropping Urban Mystica, but I always just do bug raids because they were, they always seem to be really easy to beat it's like bug terror types. I just throw in like a Charizard and they would always, I'd always one shot them. Twitter's now a cesspool of hatred and lies. Mankind and yeah, needs, uh, mankind ill needs an app such as it's. Yeah, I, I use Twitter mainly as uh, where all my like news, my Pokemon news and stuff pops up, but it's getting more and more blocked because Twitter's pushing those blue checkmark accounts up more than what I want to see. So that's getting kind of frustrating because those blue check marks, you know, they get a paycheck. So all they got to do is post something that's controversial and will stir up a conversation. And that's how you get all these weird theories. <clears throat> Never had a Twitter. Man, I got Twitter when it first came out. Oh, man. Good times. There's children around me, Brandon. Shame on you. Shame on me. The man is weird. He <laughs> got X. Uh, thanks for the tip. Gotta send out the slash and then, uh, slash the sewage then. This kid after a code. Hey, when I guess you have money, you can kind of, you probably, you feel like you have power to do whatever you want. Uh, if you have the DLC, you can only get a few Urban Mystica without doing the raids. Only, uh, once though. Um, oh yeah, there's like that, like, table setup thing in the first DLC. I know you can do that, and there's like a code or something too. Nimi, yo, what's up, Nimi? I feel like it's been a long time. How are you, Nimi? How are things? How's, how's life treating you? <clears throat> Um, you do. I would know by experience. Shame, shame in you. Shame in you. Special coaches. Oh, that's right, Brandon. That's right. I forgot about the coaches. That is true. I don't think I got all those either. Uh, good. Just been busy because midterms coming up. Ooh, you ready? You ready? You've been studying, getting the knowledge, brain expanding. It's been the fifth generation for a while. I wonder what was sixth. I mean, the way technology advances, I'd say probably, I wouldn't say like next year, but I'd say a couple of years from now. We might hear some rumblings about a sixth sixth generation or something of 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 cellular service. It's studying but gross. I hate tests. Yeah, I, I always had test anxiety. I don't know why, um, but I would study, study, study. Um, if it was multiple choice, I would nail it. But if it was like any written answers, I got screwed. It drove me nuts. Not quite there with 6G. Oh no, they don't need to be yet. Like I said, there's probably people researching that level, but I don't think we need it yet. I think 5G is fine. I'd say work on getting the 5G coverage better than, and then think about 6G. Still not that popular. Yeah, it's just got. It's got to be worked on gotta be worked on and twerked on a little bit
Diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do, diddly do. Cat says, hmm. I'm Rival Phantom. 50 likes. Do we have 50 likes? Nice. I hate mine's always one behind. This is 49, but whatever. It be what it be sometimes. But thank you guys. Thank you all for the 50 likes. And why is Cutie Fly not shine for me? Darn you, Cutie Fly. You booty. Twerked on, yes. It helps the uh, cellular service. Uh, hey, I love to do some twerking every once in a while. Oh, I bet, Rose. I bet. Boom. Yeah. Go. Getting closer to 1300 resets. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now we got my, you know, but fifth gen joke with electricity and fire emoji. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, my, when I was talking about cellular service, I wasn't thinking about uh, Pokemon, <laughs> surprisingly. I mean, I'm, I'm playing Pokemon, but, you know. <laughs> uh, I've read doing me a commission uh, commission uh, for my Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce label. Nice, dude. Heck yeah, good dude to pick. Uh, I guess he's back at it. I know he had been, uh, been kind of... Um, having some issues with with life in general so it's good to hear that he's uh moving and shaking it sounds like how do you think such a sweet middle-aged woman as myself can make extra money i thought it was just a dance move people pay for that i need to start working on my moves <laughs> what should i do i thought you were shy hunting electivire shiny litton I thought, this, I thought that was what you're doing. F and AF is creepy as heck. The look on the main, uh, look at my, wait, hold on. The look, oh my gosh, like get out of here. <laughs> Ghost chili wings were nice, but way too hot for me. Yeah, see, I, I don't mind heat. I just don't want to be like sweating while I'm trying to eat, you know? Take offense. I wasn't trying. I just didn't know you make money from like you can make money from from that. Send me a jar. I'll let Allison's stomach bottom out, not mine. <laughs> uh your attention span is small. <laughs> the, the way you spelled attention. <laughs> I can't it made me laugh. Um is small. I mean, you know, it seems to be it kind of seems to be a little bit of a standard. My, my attention span, it, you know, it, it's weird with shiny hunting. It goes on forever. But, you know, there's certain things that my attention span does not like. But uh, I feel like when it comes to shiny hunting, I was gifted with that weird ability to just do this for a long time. Kirk is disappointed. Oh, the FNAF thing. Orlando, you like spicy. I like spicy too. I just can't do it much anymore. I will go blow up because I love it so much. It brings me joy in life. Well, that's good. It's always good to have something or some things, plural, that bring you joy. That's good. I'm actually craving spicy food today. Do you have a lot of spicy food options, Nimi? To be fair, some people can handle the heat. Oh, yeah, for sure. My dad was one of those people. My dad would eat the hottest crap just and enjoy it. Me, I couldn't do it. Like, his level of heat. I, I would eat hot stuff but he, my dad would just blow me out of the water the size of a teaspoon jeez my attention span for shiny hunting is the size of like texas or something i have to spread out my spicy intake because of your prostate yeah I'm, I'm sure any predictions hopes for legend za well brandon i hope um it runs good <laughs> and i want to be able to hunt for shiny legendaries uh, as a shiny hunter, I want shiny legendaries, shiny mythicals, which I'm sure won't happen. But I'm hoping I'm I'm wrong. Wait, hold on. Oh, that wasn't it. What shine? Oh, Electabuzz. Oh, I got so excited. Sorry, guys. I got so excited that that shined, but it was Electabuzz. I'm not going to catch the Electabuzz, though. I already have a shiny Electabuzz. Um, so it's not worth the catch and ruin my little thing here. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hey, T-Sizzle got the five-star bug raid. Nice. Oh, Nimi, you got options? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Mudkip's here, eh? Mudkip. Lemon. Lemon, lemon. Yeah, I'll catch you like spicy to that level. Yeah, right? 
Electabuzz baited me hardcore. Yeah, I got so excited till I noticed there was no stars around Electivire. Punk, punk. Hunt for Zygarde the right way. <laughs> DAs. <Blech. laughs> Uh, if I'm doing something I love, I'll concentrate on for hours. If it's I'm studying, bye bye brain. Yeah, Ruby, I feel that. <laughs> I'd always hate that because I'd be like studying, and then I hear my friends outside, and I'd be like, I gotta go outside. <laughs> um, what do you? What about you, Brandon? What are you looking forward to? Got so excited for you. <laughs> uh, do you know your nipples can uh, will feel heat? So if you rub them, because uh, they got. Wait, hold on. Do you know your nipples can feel heat? So if you rub them with got because they will burn. Wait, what, Kurt? I I'm, I'm getting what you're saying though. So if you if you rub if you rub wings in your nips, you're gonna feel heat. I mean it's a sense of area, it's like your lips. It's like your lips and stuff. Like it's probably it's got a lot of nerve endings. Catch the new way trade to me. Well then I lose my little spot here, Don. <laughs> I don't want to lose my little spot. Few things bring me joy in this life. Let's see: alcohol, money, flowers, my daughter, my dog. Hmm, nothing else really. What? Well, you know, it's some, that's things. That's things. He says, "Oof." <laughs> yeah, that wasn't fun. That wasn't fun. Okay, so never tried it. Oh, hot sauce. Okay, stupid small keyboard. Guts is asking me to come to bed. My bed's asking me to come to bed. Honestly, I'm all my eyelids. I'm like super tired. I I cannot wait to just lay down and shut my eyes. <laughs> like doing that felt good. Just shutting my eyes for a second. It gave me like a nice feeling. Hopefully not in that order. <laughs> but yeah, if your doggos are saying you gotta go to bed, it's like, oh, it's hard to tell them no. It, I mean, I can tell Tango no if it's like nine o'clock. <laughs> like the other night, like Allison was like, um, doing her little Taylor Swift thing. And it was like nine o'clock and Tango was like staring at me to go to bed. And I was like, dude, it is nine o'clock. <laughs> I was like still eating dinner. Like I, I was eating a late dinner and he went and just jumped on the bed and, went and I think fell asleep for a little bit. Just forced myself to get out of bed. Hey, look at you, Nimi. Standing on your own again. He's doing a thing where he puts his paw on my arm. <laughs> Mom, we got to go to bed. Not too far fetched of an idea, but I think uh, new forms, other generational starters will get the usual Kalos starters will get Mega Evolutions. Yeah, I know that there's a couple uh, Mega Evolutions that we need, so I'm looking forward to some some cool stuff um, coming as well. Dorian, you're back. Welcome back, Dorian. Welcome back. I must go. My puppy needs me. Well, Don, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate it. But yeah, when the dogs say you got to go, I get it. I'm not going to fight that at all, but take care, Don. Catch you next time. Stop at 1300 soft resets. Resuming tomorrow morning. Sounds like a plan. Just gotta keep trucking. Gotta keep trucking. But you gotta know when to stop for the night. I had a dream Kingdra will get something in ZA. Not sure why I'm thinking about Kingdra. It's not one of my favorites. It is a cool Pokemon though. It's pretty cool. Uh, me and my daughter are still trying to find out where to eat. Texas Roadhouse. Yeehaw! Oh, tell me it's your birthday. You get a uh, brownie ice cream. I have about 40-ish uh, peppers on my plants right now. I'm super excited. Dang, they're popping off. Let's go. Dorian says dinner was not too bad. What'd you have, Dorian? What'd you have? You don't have to come in by my YouTube name. I feel like Megas will be like the strong and agile style moves, uh, boosting the moves power. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think about that, Wilkins. I didn't think about that, but yeah. What? Let me pass it by her. Rose goes back, dressed back in the pocket, throws it to her daughter. Texas Roadhouse for the win. Uh, I gotta go. I'll be back tomorrow, Brandon. P.S. Thanks for the tip, cause it already worked. Oh, you already threw one. Nice, T Sizzle. Awesome, dude. Glad it worked. But yeah, take care, dude. Thanks for uh, coming back. Hanging out for a little bit. See you later, T-Sizzle. Have a good one. Uh, yeah, Texas Roadhouse Massacre. As much as I love Chestnut and Del Fox, I hope that it's not the Kalos starters cause then Greninja will have Ash Greninja and Omega. I want Totodile's evolution line to have Omega. Also ordered 50 white ghost pepper seeds today to plant. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. 
I should have favoritism in the past. Yeah, Charizard's definitely going to get a Mega Z form. We <laughs> That's a given. Like, it's going to have Mega Z. I feel like Mewtwo could get, like, a Mega Z as well. Um... Thank God she said that she said, I, uh, it sounds good. This was the quickest we've ever picked dinner. Yes. Let's go with the assist over here behind the back assist. Uh, Mudkip, you did a stream today and it felt weird. Why did it feel weird? Why did it feel weird? Carolina Reaper Pe Reaper. <laughs> Carolina Reaper pepper is the hottest pepper. Yeah, I, 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 I've tried it once. It was not a good time. And I only had like a little dabble. It was not fun. Yo, fellow, fellow chili head in the chat. Yeah, Mr. Wolf. Kirk's up here making some, making some hot stuff happen. We got Mega Durant. Just turns into a mech. A mech ant. <laughs> pepper X is the hottest. I feel like it's just a competition. You can make the hottest pepper. Taking es extract. <laughs> Putting in seeds and see what comes out. The chocolate primo primo tail is the actually the hottest pepper. Interesting. But no, you're good, Mr. Wolf. Thanks for the lurks, dude. Thanks for the lurks. Now I officially see 50 likes, which is super cool. Kirk should do the one chip challenge. Kirk honestly would probably handle it fine. Uh, I really want Mega Yen, Yen Mega, so uh, so in Japan, his name is Mega Mega Yama. <laughs> mega Mega Yama. Da, 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 da. Um, let's see. I have two of them in my closet, the old one and the new one. Collect the whole set. If X doesn't exist, if it isn't released, it's a unicorn. A unicorn. It's only a matter of time before we reach 1 billion Scoville units. Yeah, I mean, people will still keep making them. As long as nobody completely actually dies from one. <laughs> um, You know. You die by a one-chip challenge. Yeah, I mean, that one kid, but there, there could have been, like, medical, underlying medical issues, things like that. Hot as a 16 million... The one chip get recalled. Yeah, mainly because they're trying to save their butts. Like, you know, honestly, like I said, that kid probably had underlying, underlying medical conditions. But, you know, as a company, you don't want to uh, have any more issues. It's just It's just bad press. Did a one chip challenge Funko Pop? And the, the Funko Pop is just a chip. It's a hollow 3D chip, and you got to eat the whole chip. <laughs> Smoking Ed Curry bread it? I used to be able to handle spicy, but the one chip challenge messed up my tolerance. Uh, wow, really? Dang. I want Mega Dragonite, so this uh, so the stro stone is Dragonidal. <laughs> Dragon, wait, Dragonal, Dragonal, Dragonite. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? <laughs> Can't say it. Um, let's see. Smokey won't release it for the seeds for some reason. The guest book has just paid off marketing tool. Ooh, we got, we got pepper drama. Pepper drama. Why won't he release it? It's too powerful. If I release it to the world, someone may die. And that actually might be for real. <laughs> Most of the challenges out there. I wonder if my friend Chris has heard about it. My friend Chris likes all the all the hot stuff. He has all the sauces, all the blends, all the craziness. I don't know if he grows peppers. I wonder if he does. He might. I don't see him enough to know. Late in this comment for ZA, I want Totodile, Finnegan, and Snivy as the starters. That'd be cool, because then we get megas of them, which is important. <laughs> Those are all Pokemon I'd love to see you get a Mega. Yeah, and they would get them for sure. I can't imagine they wouldn't in a situation like that. Puckerbutt Pepper Company don't want the Siege release because they made it. Shiny Litten says I'm losing it. Losing what? Losing what? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. 
May the Reaper, the Reaper, but it was released. It wasn't my top product out there either. The people with those challenges would want it. I'm sure somebody would buy, uh, buy it for a high price. I honestly do feel like, though, they may give us the main starters, but more starters with Mega will be available. I mean, that'd be cool. Whatever we don't get, they give us some extra extra starter love. It'd be cool with that. Going crazy. For what? For what, Shiny Litten? Hey, Autumn, greetings from Alaska. How's it going? Oh, I know, man, I almost got excited again. Hey, look, another Shiny Electabuzz. Two phases. Two phases. How's it going, Autumn? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Torrance is from my bedroom. <laughs> Uh, speaking of hot stuff, I love how Moltres Japanese is just fire, so Galarian Moltres is just Galarian fire, which goes pretty hard. I like that. Galarian fire. It sounds like an attack. Galarian fire! Somebody animate that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You just completed the Dust Noir research. Nice. Is that going to be your target? Dust Noir um yellow punk again right i almost got excited but now since i got earlier i got uh i got pranked <laughs> I, I i was a little more on guard that time Torical <clears throat> ed's experience sauce test uh tested and claimed to be 2.4 mil but tested at like 60k sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh attack <laughs> Japanese Pokemon game names, not games. Games are all. Oh gosh, I keep saying games. Pokemon names are all great. Feels as hot as Reaper or some of the other top, top hot peppers. What's Sylveon's Japanese name? Sylvie. No, probably not. All I did was short, shorten it. Uh, oh, it's Nymphia. Nymphia. Makes you think of like Activia or whatever it was. So close to completing my rings again. That's why I keep wiggling, keep moving, moving around and stuff. Autumn says I'm having a very wonderful dinner. I'm having moose and fresh veggies. Whoa! I have never in my life had moose. I I've I've seen videos of moose and they are freakishly huge. <laughs> but I hope it's good, Autumn. I hope it's good. Uh, I eat hot sauce and everything, and I love the the cap cramps from a good challenge. Oh my gosh! So I'm thinking is not possible yet using 5G as Wi-Fi. 5G as Wi-Fi doesn't don't cell phone companies offer that service? Shiny Linton, I don't know what's going on. I keep asking what's going on, but I don't see any response. You just keep saying the same thing. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm around his Japanese name. Feels like it's something I shouldn't say. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I can see that. Uh, Leafion is Leafia and Glacion is Glacia. I like Glacia. That's how you say it. It sounds, it just rolls off the tongue really well. Glacia. 420 checks at 420 AM. Oh, that's crazy, Alkesh, really. That's true. Wow. That's interesting. <laughs> On, uh, and it's, uh,. And it's 420 for you as well, Kesh. It's literally the four, four, well, here in the US it'd be 420. I'm sure you guys go 24, like two zeros dash four. Um, let's see, for dinner I'm having fresh veggies, mousse, homemade ice cream, and fresh berries, all caught by, really, caught by you. Dang, Autumn, okay. Took me six hours to track the mousse down, it was worth it. Wow, you're hardcore, Autumn, whoa. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it's like a, you know, six hours, but um, 
Now you're reaping the benefits. Hope those white ghosts turn out for you. Ghost peppers have a great flavor. Now brown's both Japanese and core. Yeah, uh, yeah, blacky. I remember that. It seems just blacky. <laughs> Japan was like, oh, we don't know. He's he's just kind of got black colors. Oh, he's blacky. And they were like, yes, that's it. That's the name. Um. Oh yeah, it's also an elite four member Dorian. You don't know you lost your brain? Well, it's definitely something you should go find for sure. Um, I'm a hunter, so I hunt my own food. Nice. Brandon says, that's sick. Uh, don't ever need to go, go to the grocery store. That's good. That's good. Meanwhile, I'm over here hitting up at the grocery store. Like, yo, here's my hard earned money. Oh, it went up today? Mm. <laughs> Try letting you're tired. Go get some sleep. Get some sleep. It's important. Get the sleep and stuff. I'm trying to hold on myself right now. But right after this stream, I am going to curl up in a ball and fall asleep. Um, wait, Espeon is Yeffy? Is Am I saying that? I'm probably saying that wrong. The one in the uh, bag being moose, though elk is higher up on the list for Kirk. That's correct, says Dorian. How long are you going uh, for the stream? Right now it is. Oh my gosh, where's my clock? Eleven twenty-four p.m. I usually go around like midnight, twelve twelve oh five, ish. Um, so I got a little little while longer. A little while longer. You're gonna sleep with Tango. Well, that's a question for Tango. He starts with us, but he always gets up. Um, he always gets up and leaves. He like, basically watches us go to bed, kind of hangs out with us until we start falling asleep, and then he leaves. He gets his own personal space on the couch. Wet paper towels in a nice, dim, lit place. In about 70, 75 degrees. It should germinate nicely. Mr. Wolf with the tips. Apparently there's an enemy in Xenoblade whose Japanese name is... Is blackface, so they call it metal face in the dub. Okay, probably a good choice. Probably a good choice, honestly. Uh, elk is very difficult to catch and very dangerous. Yeah, same time zone. Let's go. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, East Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Daylight Time, whatever people say. <laughs> it's very yummy and delicious, says Autumn. Ignored my question. Uh oh. Well, I got the stream to work again. Nice, Rose. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. EST boys, it's right. Some of us, some of us over here. <laughs> I love to predator hunt, especially Bobcat. Wow. Love to work all. Uh, Dorian Couch. Yeah, that's where Tango likes to camp. That's his jam. He likes to have his own little little whole couch to himself, I think. He's like, we, we clutter it the whole day. Well, he uses it, but like when, at night, we kind of take all his spots, and then he gets it back when we go to bed. <clears throat> new Torkoal card. I saw a picture of the new uh, Chimeco card. It looks really, really good. It almost looks hyper-realistic. It's still art, but it looks very real. I remember a time my cousin tried to teach me how to use a BB, you know, thing and actually hit a bird and became traumatized. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for to a bird, they can do damage for sure. I mean, if you hit them in the right spot, gone. Say today's shade had no nicks. Woo! That's good. I shaved my neck today. I don't think I have any nicks. I think. <laughs> My youngest killed a bird with a BB, uh, a BB gun uh, a couple weeks ago. He cried later that night about it. <laughs> Bag many animals, including bobcats, lions, rabbits, hares, goose, beaver, and bears. Oh my. I guess I should add to that. Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. I was aiming for a can hung up on a tree branch and it flew right. Yeah. I feel like if something like that happens, it's almost fate, Nimi. <laughs> like, it, like the you know, think of the size of a BB, 
in the like a bird just flying randomly in front of it right time it's just like just an unfortunate situation just happened is a mountain goat Those are the ones that just hang out on the side of a mountain for for no other reason but just to stand there. I've been wanting to try it for a while. People say it's not great. Cousin was proud of me because I had a moving animal, but it was so sad. Yeah, it's like you weren't deliberately trying. Um, sport hunting. I'm too much of an animal lover. I can't do it. <laughs> Just threw through a rock at a baby bird once and then blamed it on our friend. Jeez. Jeez. They fed the wild. The wild cats oh, near the property. I'm sure they enjoyed that. It's kind of like one of their one of their go-tos. Okay, not the best game, but the fat from the bear is extremely good in winter as a resource. Dang it. Getting close to the 500s, though. Dorian with the shiny luck. Thing is, my aim was actually so good, it went uh, through the bird and still hit the can behind it. Dang. Swamp puppies. Swamp puppies. Makes me like him even more. Yo, Matt. What's up, Matt? <laughs> How's your week? Uh, it was all right. I was sick most of it, but finally fully recovered. Just really tired. How was your week, Matt? How was your week, dude? <clears throat> Only hunt bears if they're injured or sick. Uh, 146 percent so Dorian gave 77 nice nice connections being stupid mm, yeah it's not mine I was double checking to make sure it wasn't mine Nimi. me but yeah I'm not getting any any hiccups on my end at the moment well it's at the moment earlier I did for some reason uh it's first blackberry lottery hunt in like 50 years I already put in for the raffle Honestly, exhausting. Matt, you got any uh, time off anytime soon? Any time to hopefully reset? Uh, need me reset the stream? Nice. We good. We good. That's not it. People are hunting. If I see a bear, I'm pooping my pants. <laughs> I poop my pants. Um. Uh, honor animal sacrifices and use as much as you can. Very true. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Uh, unfortunately, my pit boy watch face drains battery very fast. Really? Just a watch face? Shido, it says meep. What's up, Shido? Thanks for, uh, I said it earlier, but I saw where you joined the uh, memberships back again. Appreciate that, Shido. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. But welcome back. <laughs> Um, yeah, Dorian, for real. If there's a bear cub, there's, the mom's probably not too far away. So, yeah, if I see a cub, I'm gonna be like, okay. <laughs> uh, flew to New York tonight for her mom's birthday. I head to Savannah tomorrow for a ceremony of recognition and back Sunday. Dang, dude. So, the, the, the grind keeps going. The grind keeps going. But back Sunday, hopefully Sunday you get some time to to kind of kick back and relax just a bit. Yo, 24 months. Yeah, cheers, dude. Two years. That's crazy. 24 months, two years, 
whatever it is, it's still alive. That's cool, Matt. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you want to see a bear cub? Wow, neat. <laughs> yeah, very busy as well, Matt. Very, very busy. Sheesh. You're watching Fallout, Shido. What are you thinking? Yo, Jakes. What's up, Jakes? Good to see you, Jakes. Sorry, I was uh, just going through all this stuff here, and I make try. I just I'm like always like to go back up through the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. How's it going, Jakes? Um, but yeah, we watched the episode two of Fallout tonight. It's pretty good. I liked it better than the first episode. I'm back for the end of the stream. I'm going to a convenience store for breakfast. All right, sounds good, Nimi. Sounds good. Safe travels. Safe travels. Um, uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, Dorian taking his photos. <laughs> Um, uh, hunt my game, I live by a code, honor your state, love your woman, and respect all life, big and small. I need Guzzlord to shine, Shido. How long have you been how long have you been hunting Guzzlord? Wait until later in the season. Yeah, I I I I've kinda I I've I've been wanting to watch it, but me and Allison are watching a couple things at the moment and I'm like, you know. It's like shoot. <laughs> I don't have the time to like watch all this stuff that we've started. Uh, okay, gotta go. See you later there, Rose. Take care. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, enjoy enjoy the food. Enjoy the food. Hope it's awesome, <laughs> which it should be. Uh, oh, 547 soft reset. That's it. 547. <laughs> you have the Shine Charm, Shido. The thing is with the Fallout series, I've never played anything Fallout, never watched anybody play a game of Fallout. I, I'm kind of watching blind, so I feel like I'm like trying to like, I'm, I feel like there's just so much going on. I'm like, what is happening right now? Um, Logan says, I heard somebody say shiny big boy. All right, gotta go, I gotta get to bed. Have a good day, everyone. Good luck to everyone who's shiny hunting Brandon included. Bye, see ya, Tyler. Have a good one. Thanks for popping in and hanging out with us, with us tonight, Tyler. But yeah, go get yourself some sleep. See you later. Um, how are y'all doing in chat today, says Autumn. I'll let the chat answer that. <laughs> uh, is somehow uh, confused by this show? Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit confused, you know? I'm just like, like, I, I like what I'm watching, but at the same time, I'm like, what is happening? I know we're in a post-nuclear uh, world. I kind of stalled out in the 50s or 60s, whatever that era is. Uh, but Autumn, I'm doing good. I, like I said, I couldn't, like I said earlier, I can't complain. I've been kind of sick all week, and I finally feel decent. So I'm I'm excited about that. <laughs> uh, so I'll take that. How about you, Autumn? How, like you know, everything's going on, but how how are you doing? Um. Kind of reminds you of Star Wars a bit. Why does Snorlax eat breakfast at 4 a.m.? Who does that? My business partner. <laughs> he gets up at like 3.30 or something and gets his day started. That or goes on a run at 4. 550 soft resets. Yeah, still under odds though. Still under odds. I got my shiny poi pole at like... 2,500 something. You're fantastic. Glad to hear that, dude. Glad to hear it. You play Pokemon Sleep. I do not. I never played Pokemon Sleep. I just didn't really, like, there's nothing against it. I know people are loving it. I just didn't really have any urge to get it. Like, it just, you know, it, it looked all right. I just didn't have any urge to want to do it. Anything special on May 4th? May the 4th be with you. What is day is May 4th? Ooh, it's a Saturday. Star Wars Day. Do, 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 do. Think my next break uh, from work will be May 15th. I'm assuming, oh, assuming nothing else is lined up. Dang, that's that far away, man. Well, hopefully you can sneak in little sleeps, rests, and things to keep your sanity there, Matt. Sheesh. Brandon plays Pokemon Awake. <laughs> I technically do, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. It's helped my sleep, but it's more of a sleeping app than a sleeping. And then, oh yeah, than a game. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of people having a lot of a lot of good stuff with it. 
Um, have you got any shinies in it, Brandon? Any any shinies? Yeah, Pokemon fun with Pokemon Sleep. I just don't want one more thing to keep track of, <laughs> to be honest. Nothing like I said, nothing against the app. I think it's adorable. I like the I like the um art style. Uh, I just got a new snowmobile today. Ready for dark winter in a couple months. I love my new snowmobile. It's black, yellow, and red. Nice, dude. Snowmobile. That's right. Up in Alaska with, you know, with the way the earth is tilted on its axis, you guys get some months in the dark. Forgot about that. I had a friend that went and lived in Alaska for a couple years. He used to send me pictures, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's crazy. The sun would be like on the horizon like all the time. Are you talking to yourself, uh, Brandon? Um, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, booked early mid June and going to NYC for Pokemon Go Fest on July Fourth weekend. We'll see you there. No, I don't think we're gonna go. Um, we talked about it, but um, Allison probably won't be able to get off for the for that week. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, won't be there. <laughs> and tickets sold out for Saturday, too. Because I thought about buying tickets just for the heck of it. And if we couldn't go, then womp. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, give up that. But I would like to go. If they do it next year, I would like to go. Found some pretty good deals on travel. I was surprised how cheap it was to fly to NYC. There's Pokemon Go YouTuber that lives in Alaska that goes by the name Poke AK. I feel like I've heard of that name, Dorian. I feel like I've heard that. I love dark winter. It's like living in the apocalypse. It's creepy. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. I, I feel like I would like miss daylight though. Because even when here, when it's like, um, you know, in the winter months, it gets a little, it gets a little, we get less daylight um, length, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. The, the daytime isn't as long. And it's always a bummer when I like, it's like getting dark at like 4 p.m. <laughs> Rivaled with the lurks, thank you. 30 days of night. So one game I have uh, bad shine luck in, maybe six, my friend who's never played Pokemon game. Oh, has 40, Brandon? Jeez, that's insane. We're going Sunday to the park and NYC weekend past, flying up Friday night and getting back Sunday night. Nice, we were gonna, my plan was to get there like Friday night and leave like Monday. But uh, it just with our work schedules and stuff, it just it's hard to do. I love cutesy stuff, so cafe and sleep. Yeah, I've never played cafe, but uh, I learned recently that cafe has shinies as well. I didn't know that there were shinies in the game, so I was like, that might be fun to try one time. <clears throat> hate daylight dark darkness is fantastic hunting uh for hunting game if you're camouflaged oh i bet a little more a little more in, under undercover at night yeah, so much fun yeah me and allison did the chicago one one year that was that was awesome keeping receipts uh for business expensive yeah for the u yeah bit section c business write-off for the, the youtube 1099 i didn't think of that yeah i could do that i do that for myself Although I don't get a big sh anything much from it, <laughs> uh, like this year we owed we owed four figures on taxes. Um, I need to buy more stuff for my YouTube channel. <laughs> Last year I barely bought anything for the channel. The year before that I bought my standing desk. I got like a studio lights and all this stuff. I, this year it was little. La little lackluster. I didn't do much. Yeah, there's shiny. Yeah, there's shinies in sleep. That's why I was asking Brandon, like, if he had any shinies, because I know I know that you can get shinies in that game, which is which is pretty cool. It's a nice touch. Never owed taxes before. <laughs> as soon as me and Allison got married, it seemed like we owed taxes every single time. Uh, took a trip to Japan in February and one of the Pokemon centers had a Magikarp gotcha with 120, sorry, one and two inner shiny odds. I was tempted to blow all my money. Oh my gosh. Inner shiny hunters coming out like, I need it. <laughs> so cause of me, no, I think it's a little combo. A little combo. Pokemon cards are quick and easy. YouTube expense. That's true. That's true. 
But then I'm sitting here on all this bulk, like, oh, what am I gonna do with all these extra cards? Look, he's gotta do the work life tomorrow. I love Pokemon so much that I had a contractor come out and put a 70 foot statue of Coridon and Maridon in your yard, Autumn, really? How does one order that? <laughs> How does one order that? Uh, Pokemon Center Online, gonna make me go broke. Yeah, my advice is don't spend too much time on Pokemon Center because I also found like the kitchen section and housewares section. And I was like, there's so many silly things I want to buy. And I found like, like the suit section, like you can get like a, like, like classy looking like ties and like cufflinks and you know, like all this stuff. I'm like, okay, if I have to dress up, I might invest. But luckily a lot of the cool stuff was sold out. So I didn't, uh, I didn't have to bother with that. Now, two beautiful black onyx statues and one of my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time. Jeez, that's, uh, that seems very expensive. Very expensive. Pokemon plushies. I will say I am grateful that I am not a plushie person. Yes, I have a couple. Like, they're fun. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not ever like, I need a plushie. <laughs> I can pass on them. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Um, Cause I do have a very collectible style lifestyle. Like I like to collect things. Decisions, decisions as Dorian's. There's an, there exists a Cartana plush. I need it. I'm yeah, there like, there's like, I think there's a plush of every Pokemon. I think I could be wrong. What size are your panties brand? I really want to get my Christmas shopping done early. Um, whatever a 36 waist is in jeans, uh, cookie. I got a cool Dratini plush a while ago. Nice, Jakes. Nice. Do you use plushies for backdrop business right now? I didn't, I didn't think about that. Gosh, man. Matt, I need to consult you for all my taxes next year. Like, remind me of all the things I need to write off. <laughs> I need to make sure I keep all my receipts for that stuff. 55 likes. Hey, thanks for the 55 likes, guys. Holy crap. Let's go. Make sure they're seamless. Don't want them showing through my yoga pants. Yeah, that's right. Well, with, with the yoga pants, just get the ones that say, like, juicy across the back, Kirk, and that way it, it hides the hides the lines and stuff like that. They don't ever go to a Pokemon Center store. I'm not a plushy guy either, but I bought at least six on a whim. I don't think I, I could ever... I don't like. There's no Pokemon Center store around me. Like there be There was one in New York but that was years and years and years ago. Um, but yeah, I have no intentions. I would love to go to Japan though. It's like my dream to go to Japan. Um, but I know I'd probably spend way too much money and die in crippling debt. Uh, do you like Amiibos? They're all right, Ruby. I have Zelda ones and I have a Banjo-Kazooie one. I got a couple, uh, but nothing nothing crazy. But yeah, I do like them, Ruby. Lacephalon and Feramosa don't have one. Oh, they don't? Interesting. I thought there would be at least something. She does is juicy. <laughs> Kirk says, I love, I love juicy. Missed that comment. The next project to have is a beautiful gold gate engraved with the Pokeballs uh, ever created. That'd be dope. I've, I've ever had like a house and I had like a gated entrance. I totally, let's just say I was like freaking rich as heck, totally get like a Pokeball gated door. <laughs> That'd be so sick. Write that off on my taxes. <laughs> Plushies and cards are my only route for 2023. Plus shirts for on-screen use only. Oh, okay. Dang, you know you know what you're doing, Matt. You know what you're doing. I I I have <laughs> I'm I'm such a dummy. Pokemon junkie, yeah, I can tell. Like like I'm a Pokemon junkie too, but at the same time I have not that much budget. <laughs> Brooke will say it's one of your favorite words. <laughs> the most expensive thing about Japan is the flight there right now. It's insanely cheap when you're there. Really? I just feel like I would spend so much money. You speak Japanese. I do not. That's one of the things I would feel like I'd want to learn because I don't know anybody over in Japan. So it's not like I can meet up with somebody and like, yo, help us out while we're here. <laughs> I'll, I'll cover your meals and whatnot. We just need your help. 
But I'd like to learn some so I know what I'm doing. I only know the word konnichiwa, basically. I took a lot of business and business law, learned a lot about entertainment expenses and write-offs. Yeah, I mean that's probably really good to know, but yeah, I can help. For sure, man. I'm all I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Especially like when I've got to the point where I owe money every year, I'm like, I need to, need to figure that life out. Uh I don't I don't understand why and wish I didn't, says Wilkins. Oh buddy. Hug Merrick. Dum 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 dum. Oh, I did complete my rings tonight. Let's go. Let us go. And thank you there, and rival back to you. Back to you. Swear the left, my left shoulder rotator cuff is all jacked up. Like it just hurts randomly all the time. Uh, I have a few connections and I'm toying with the idea of moving there for some time. If you're ever there while I'm there, I'd be happy to help. All right, all right. Be nice. It would be nice. Like I, I, I just I watch all me, me and Allison will sit there. Um, by the way, the Allison I'm talking about is one of the mods in my chat and my wife. She, uh, we mean her sit there and watch like Japan travel videos like all the time. <laughs> Speak five languages, Sweden, Russian, Italian, Latin, and Romanian. Okay, nice. So one of the things I kind of regret not getting more involved with is like learning another language. <clears throat> like I literally only I took two years of Spanish, but I kind of like dilly dallied through it. Although Spanish too, I got an A in, <laughs> but it was just like, you know, I didn't feel like I worked that hard in it. I didn't really pay attention. Was <laughs> which Brandon? Brandon R or Brandon S? <laughs> the R one. Still in the seafood diet, kind of straight up for a week. The tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Oh, it's looking right at me. I went to a Nintendo store and bought every Pikmin thing I could find. It was so much that it took, pe uh, it took people to ring me out. I fully expected I'd spend several hundred dollars, but the total was only about 120. That's good. That's not too shabby at all. Cheeto, me and you, uh, both Brandon, I, I had... Uh, ASL two and didn't learn that much and passed with an A, right? And my, my, my Spanish two teacher was actually really cool too, that helped. Whenever I had a cool teacher, I performed better in the class. But the only thing is I didn't retain any of the information. <laughs> Cause like I did the, like I would do the homework, I do pretty good on the test, but like I wasn't sitting there trying to retain the information. And that's where I kind of fell flat. Dorian with the rip. I lost her Pokeballs, yeah, I saw that. It actually updated in real time. It was like, bam. <laughs> and thanks for the luck there, Unrivaled, as well. Thank you, thank you. Back to you. Trying to get a plush of all the mods I had on through a playthrough. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yo, Cookie gifted memberships here. <laughs> the only thing is Dory and Allison just lost, lost theirs, so I don't think it'll work till after, after midnight, unfortunately, if you were trying to target them, Cookie. But regardless, Jay Bird gets one. Cedo, P. Merc, Oni, uh, Froggy, Q, CeeLo, and Shiny Man, and Joni got gifted memberships. Cookie, thank you, dude. I think you probably were targeting Allison and Dorian, maybe. <laughs> um, the only thing is, since theirs ended today, it, like, resets at midnight or something, I think. I could be wrong. But member hype for Cookie, guys. Thank you, Cookie. You're always so generous. I really do appreciate you, man. That's That's awesome. And thanks for all the hype there, guys. I see Unrivaled and Kirk. Yo, and Matt with 10 gifted memberships as well. Holy cow. Jakes, Alice, Moxie, Adam, Nimi, uh, Heather, which AKA is, I forgot what Heather's real name is. Uh, Tell Foxy, maybe Ditto, Mom's Gone Gaming, 
getting gifted. Thank you so much, Matt. Remember hype for both Cookie and Matt. Goodness gracious, thank you, thank you. Bye, love. Oh, bye, love. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out with us, bye, love. But take care. Have a good night, and we'll catch you around. <laughs> Sorry, the gifted memberships are flooding in. I didn't see it popping in there. I'll find whoever bought all. Oh, bought all the new Legos. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's Jake. Says Matt. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, if you're here and you got gifted, make sure you say thanks to whoever gave it to you, Cookie and or Matt. Don't hype me, only Cookie. No, Matt, we gotta hype you as well. That's that's a big, big chunk there. Do you write that off in your taxes? <laughs> I'm sitting here like, hey yo, hold up. <laughs> can you can gifted memberships be a be a taxable tax deduction? <laughs> Matt is a cool guy for real. Matt is a cool guy. You know what? We gotta, we gotta drop, we gotta drop some command. <laughs> That's not a shiny. Pretty sure Matt's is Matt, I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Drop some stuff there. Drop some stuff for my pals. Hey, look at Jay Bird. What's up, Jay Bird? Legends. That's right. Call them Arceus, because they're a bunch of legends. <laughs> like the video game I'm playing, get it? <laughs> Bling! Love my job, I can do it whenever I want. I make 1850 every week, it's good. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. You share your OF link to the command. Yeah, just send it to me, Cookie, and I will, uh, I will, um, I'll put it in there. No one bosses you around. That's good. I kind of like that aspect of mine too. Granted, I do have demands and stuff, but I don't really, you know, compared to my other jobs, I'm not like constantly bossed around. Um, it's a heck of a lot of money a week. That is. That it is. It's not shiny. Sell fur from all the animals I hunt. It's a good trade, but hard work. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty difficult. Only feet page is pretty good. Bling. <laughs> Kirk's on it too. <laughs> Only eaters. Hey yo. <laughs> Ruby, hope we can get a job this year. Hey, hopefully you can. I know, I know it's nice to be like relax and chilly and stuff but i i do enjoy the aspect that i do have a job and something that i enjoy <clears throat> but it'd be nice to get some breaks too <laughs> got my first check with over 2k in taxes taken out i felt sick seeing it oh dude it's so brutal so so brutal man i remember when i got a, like i worked like a ton one time um i was working retail and i was so excited for the check and when i got it i was like whoa ah! It's like my it's like my first lesson in like oh yeah, <laughs> it can it can be pretty crappy. Oh, you have your own personal taxidermy. I'm so glad that you typoed Kirk, because now I can just picture a turn. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, not much to hunt in rural rural Alberta. City life. And run from that. Not shiny. The heck? Thought I hit the A button there. Uh, they had to pay me my travel days, so I got seven days paid for the week. Almost, 
almost three days out of, out of it cut yeah and taxes jeez Ugh, that's really frustrating really really frustrating Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, taxes are a birch for sure. For sure, for sure. I always have all these plans like let's get the house painted and stuff, and then they get taken out and I'm like, oh, <laughs> Oh man. Booby doo boo boo boo. We make good money though, who does? Uh I got to put up a new wax ring in the toilet tomorrow. Fun. <laughs> good times. <laughs> Um, uh, I think good money and pay lots of taxes. It's just, just peachy. Share the wealth. Just dance, just dance. It'll be okay. Do 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 do. Just dance. Spin that record, babe. I think that's the lyrics. I might be wrong. It's been a while since I've heard that song. Over 400, that's right, CJ. Over 400. The 2050 that scene where Mr. Krabs ch uh, charges an employee for breathing won't even be satire. <laughs> uh, soul. Yeah, I have the shiny charm. I do. I don't have the the dex perfected. I have the dex level 10, um, and the shiny charm. But you know, I could theoretically finish and perfect the decks of this and make the odds a little better but yeah i don't really see a huge reason not like to do it um you know i've had some short hunts i've had some long hunts in this like hair cross is 877 but these checks are going by pretty quick since i'm doing just a soft soft reset for them dorian 32 percent of the shiny luck let's go Still below odds, just a long hunt. Yeah, still below odds, just, you know, it's going a little long, that's all. That's all it is. But yeah, good to see you there, soul. You doing any any shiny hunts of yourself? Oh, of yourself. Any shiny hunts that you're doing? <laughs> uh. One thirty three percent. Oh, you've been taking a break from shiny hunting. That's fair. Sometimes, just like anything in life, you can have a little break from it. Understandable. Where if Matt is doing anything on May 26th? I don't know. I think the cheese knocked Brooke out. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. Or just, you know, mom and, and, and stuff maybe he has as well. 
Um, let's see. A few years back, I lost my my husband and, a, and our three-year-old son to a drug driver. He's in jail for... Oh my god, Autumn. I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Gosh. I'm so sorry, Autumn. Uh, hey, Cedo. How's it going, Cedo? What's up, what's up, what's up? Uh, this month it has to be it was to be my son's birthday. His birthday's on April twenty fifth. Jeez, yeah, autumn. That's terrible. Play some Luigi's three man ugh, mansion three. Well, Luigi's Mansion three tomorrow. Nice, dude. I need. I never played the third one. I played the first two. I need to play the third one. I've essentially established my shiny alpha team in a little under a month. So hopefully my luck transfers to you safely. Hey, keep your luck just in case you decide on on shiny hunting soul. You never know. You never know. <laughs> I want electrifier to be buffed. It's my favorite electric type, but if, um, we have way too many mono electric types. I feel like it looks like it should be buffed. Yeah, the second comes out remastered too. That's what I was like. I was like thinking of maybe, maybe possibly getting it. I think it'd be kind of cool to play. <clears throat> hey, Starlight, what's up, Starlight? Yeah, weekend off. Nice. All right, I think I'll go to, let's go to 485. I feel like that would be a good stopping point. I'm going to go by the hope the hunt's successful while I'm the, while thinking about buying uh, anything in the Pokemon Center. Be careful there, Wilkins. Thanks for hanging out with us, though. Take care. Have a good one, and we'll catch you around soon, dude. That was very hard for me. Thanks for virtual hugs. You all very sweet. I'm glad I found this channel and good people on this channel. Yeah, we, we got a good crowd over here. I'm very, very happy and proud of that because I've been some places and it's like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> so I'm glad that um, glad that you feel welcome, Autumn. Um, but you see you later, Wilkins. See ya, see ya. Electrifier should be a dual electric fighting type. I uh, honestly, I, I wouldn't mind that typing. I wouldn't mind that. I just had to, if anybody sees that Discord link and you join, uh, if you join the Discord, make sure you go to the rules tab and click on the uh, Pikachu at the bottom. Gonna break down the wall tomorrow. Da -da 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 -da. And not shiny there. Very honored to join your Discord. If you, yeah, of course. Anybody's welcome. Anybody's welcome. Just uh, make, like I said, make sure you go to the rules tab and go re and scroll down, and you'll see like a Pikachu. I think there's like actually a second message. React to that one. The way you know you've done it right is if the whole Discord starts opening up. Like you'll see a lot more sections. If you don't, there's only like a couple sections. But it should, you know, you'll you'll notice a difference. <laughs> It's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. Yeah, uh, that that didn't look fun. It looked very very thick. <laughs> it's you know it's it looks short and it's like oh this isn't gonna be bad but ooh. Fifty nine likes, nice. Thank you guys. Thank you all for the likes. Also, we're, this is the last check by the way. <laughs> I just realized we're at the last check, so I'll go ahead and say it. Thank you for the fifty nine likes. That's awesome. Um, also we had Shido join the Pika gang tonight. 
Also, we had Tyler Flexen seven months, Dorian Flexen seventeen months, Hefty with the raid, and Flexen twenty four months, a two year hype, um, which is crazy. Um, Matt Flexen two years as well, Cookie gifting ten memberships, and Matt gifting ten memberships, which is nuts. That's crazy, crazy. Um, let's get this check here real quick, and uh, we'll say some buys and all that good stuff. Last check. Maybe? <laughs> Not shiny, unfortunately. Uh, that took a little bit to load. I felt like, maybe because I was looking at it, it felt like it took longer. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. A lot of, we yeah, got some new faces in here, which was great. That's pretty awesome. So thanks for coming to hang out. Hope you liked what you saw and uh, the people that are here and involved. It's, uh, I feel like we got a pretty cool community here. So um, feel free to come back if you want. <laughs> But uh, E, you take care as well. Uh, let me see who's all here. I'll say bye to everybody. We got Allison, Autumn. We got Cookie, Dorian E, JJ, Kirk, Ruby, Cedo, Starlight, Unrivaled Phantom, Wilkins, Soul, uh, Brandon as well. Uh, thank you guys so much. It was awesome. Uh, but yeah, feel free anytime, Brandon, of course. I, I'm here a lot, so you know, you're know you bound to catch me at some point if you're on. <laughs> Uh, Starlight says I'm just down the chat on uh, down the chat to be honest on Discord. All right, sounds good. Yeah, feel free to head over to Discord if you guys want and just chat and whatnot. But uh, take care, guys. Have a great rest of your night. Start to your morning, whatever you got going on. And uh, yeah, see y'all in a couple hours. Early stream tomorrow, 12 ish p.m. Eastern. If you're looking forward to that, but I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one. I'll see y'all soon.